Congratulations. As of this moment, you are officially an employee of S2P. In part three of today's orientation, we'll be discussing classified information. What is? This is section 13. We're under attack from outside. Or, or maybe inside? I don't know who can hear this. Oh, we need help! Send help! Now! Okay, well that's encouraging. <laughs> Is everyone all right? Oh, where are the rest of your Never mind. We'll just have to make do. Listen carefully, agent. I know you must have questions, but right now, you're in the midst of a mission, and it's imperative we get you moving. All right. First things first. It looks like you've been injured. I'm remote activating the medical device in that safe room. We just started. How the hell are we hurt? Use that terminal to treat any long-term injuries. Transit, perhaps. Transit is commutes can be very vicious. <laughs> All right. Well, everybody, welcome to Halo for an hour. This is a game that immediately starts. I was I was warned about this. It immediately starts with gameplay, which is always the most difficult to make an intro for. But welcome. This is Blackout Protocol. Where we're starting out today, and I have with me Esler and Hated as well. Hello, hello. Uh, this is a game I received a review key for, and that is notable. I received a review key, but this game is up to three players and intended to be experienced with three players. So, thankfully, Esler and Hayden were willing to pick up keys for this game. I tried to reach out to the devs about extra keys for the sake of, you know, proper multiplayer experience, but they didn't respond for one reason or another, so... Uh, thank you, Esler and Hayden, for bothering to do that so we could, do, we could review this the correct way. <laughs> Because I know otherwise I'm going to get <laughs> comments like, well, you're playing this multiplayer game, single player. Of course you don't enjoy this aspect as much or whatever. So, yeah, we're playing it the proper way. Apparently we're in a tutorial now. Uh, but I want to say before we begin, if you like the video. Oh, I didn't, I didn't, I didn't turn on macros, did I? Oh, I'll have to select it manually. If you like the video, do think about giving it a like. If you haven't subscribed yet, think about doing that as well. But if you really want to help out, come over to Twitch. We're trying to reach partner over here, but of course we need more viewers to do that. So if you want to come by, whether it's to lurk or to talk, think about doing so. Because it really does help out, and we'd honestly love to have you. We have a, a new viewer, at least one new viewer today, actually. Uh, well, uh, we actually have several, actually. Trollox Zordesu came by with a, a raid, and then we had uh, the Forgotten One or something, or Forgotten Soul came by at the beginning. So thank you guys for showing up. I really appreciate that. Like I said, uh, it's it's nice to have new people around. It's nice to have old people around, too. It's just nice to have people around. <laughs> uh, but also, we have a pretty cool Discord community if you want to check that out as well. We have a coffee link if you want to help directly monetize my content. And I have a, a merch store if you want to buy some cool stuff. And, of course, I also put the link to the Wake Game Drive website, which is now over, but still seeing new art. So all links are in the description to that and everything else. So check it out if you want to see cool artwork or just join any of the stuff I showed. But yeah. <laughs> Sorry, my intro seems a little off. I usually do a lot better when I can fire up a game, set it up a little bit, turn it back off, and then actually start the video. So when games just like throw you into the shit, uh, I realize that some games narratively do better when they do that. That's fine. Oh, it's not actually letting me move unless I heal. All right. Uh, what button is that? You you don't you don't heal. You just uh, move with W A S D. It's not letting me. Oh, there, finally. All right. I apparently wasn't tar targeted on the game, even though it was hard to tell. All right. But yeah, this is uh, this is this game. To put it very simply, I got a key for this because I was like, oh, this kind of looks like Alien Swarm, and I'm sure some people know what Alien Swarm is. It's an old source game uh, that you can play with up to like I think four people, and it was it's pretty great top down shooter thing. You can tell just like this, and uh, I can't even pause to like change the graphic settings. I could tell it's a little leggy. I was going to lower a few settings, but I guess I can't because I'm a tutorial. That's not a good start game. 
Letting the player actually change options immediately is good. On your person. Please submit them at the next terminal, and I'll transmit your board-approved agent upgrades. The tutorial is short, though. But it's still kind of like honestly, though, you should right at the start you should be able to change options because if your computer is a little weak or something, and the game just like chugs, you can't make any changes. You can't fix that. It has to chug, and that's kind of it's kind of bad, you know. Yeah, I'm gonna have to. Agree but at there. least it's not as bad as it could have been. All right. Uh oh. Uh, let's see. Plus ten out capacity to all weapons. Well, that seems like an. Oh, I don't can't buy that. Wait, I can't buy any of these. Eh. Okay. I mean, you can still invest some. Oh, you can put. Them. Oh, it's one of those things where you can invest. Okay. All right. Well, I just want more ammo. Uh, I have to click that. Oh, each it does time. let you invest in the other ones. I, I don't care about rolling so much. I mean, rolling's good. How do you, you can roll? just hold, I believe. I, I don't even know how to run. Yeah, you not letting options be touched right away is always a big no-no. Yeah, honestly, there's no reason that... Like, there's really no reason right now that I shouldn't be able to hit escape. I assume it's escape to pause normally and access stuff. Uh, I can't seem to do that. There's no reason not to allow the player... To, like, even if you want to start the game with the tutorial popping up before the tile screen, which some games do make that choice, that's fine, but... There's nothing that should stop me from immediately just, you know, accessing options. Like, there's no reason not to let me access them. Okay. I'll take that. It seems you're also in possession of a blueprint. Like right now, you guys see kind of shitty performance. It's not really my fault though. I can't, I can't change that right now. See, my computer is decent. Um, all I need to do is just turn off a few particle effects, and usually I'm good. But I can't do that right now. Yeah, I have no options menu. I have no options menu right now. Not until I complete the tutorial will they let me change In the, the options. Of another mission abort, you'll be able to you gotta the earn the right, right to have settings of that function. Okay, you're all set. Let's resume the mission. Okay, I found the roll button. It finally let me. Yeah, so right now the performance is kind of bad, right? What you guys are seeing? Yeah, I'm, I'm seeing it. And it's, it's just awful. It'll be better in a little bit, but I have to, yeah. It, it is at least short, I do see that. Oh, wow. Yeah, see? Oh, that's a flashlight button, okay. Oof. Oh, what key is the dodge button, by the way? Wait, are they gonna make me fight Space. before I have- Are they gonna make me fight before I have access to the options menu? Yep. That's even more yes. of a no-no. Because if your computer is chugging, then fucking good fucking luck then, I guess. Now, there see, it's- is there is a worry about it. to that though. It it's a scripted fight, so scripted death matter. fight. Scripted death fight. I got gotcha. you. So it doesn't matter. I think it might technically be possible. I I doubt it. I I know a few of the controls. What the hell is this thing? This is a mech. <laughs> Like a loader An enemy. Okay. What I want to know is why isn't there a dead body in the exit seat? Makes me think of those, uh, what are those Fallout enemies that, like, they're a trauma suit that are supposed to get people back if they're dying, but I can't even see the rubble on part of the platform. That's not good. I have plans. Loading. The name of the bot here talking about this escapes me. I see this is supposed to be a winnable, but it also totally looks Oh fire! Alright. Uh, but you very quickly run out of ammo. Oh no, it just kills you! Even if you're doing a good job job dodging this which I was, it just kills you. I think the envir I think the room like heated up and killed me. Automatic damage. So there's no way to win that. Because while I was in the fire briefly, I didn't know. I would do it. Mm -hmm. uh, so I don't know if you guys paid attention to the intro, but the intro was like, oh shit, we have a problem. Send our skilled agents out to deal with it. Wait, our skilled agents aren't available? Alright, send our rookie agents out to deal with it. Wait, our rookie agents aren't available? Alright, just who the fuck do we have in accounting? Send them! <laughs> Mercenaries, apparently. 
Oh, look, a title yeah. screen. <laughs> look, options. Wow. Yeah, I definitely don't. I don't. I do not approve of that. That's a player hostile decision. A developer. Basically, this is a decision a developer makes when they just think to themselves, "Well, it runs good on our systems, and that's all that matters." Yeah, if I just lower a few things, it'll probably be fine. I'll say I probably have already done enough. We do not need voice chat. We can turn turn that off, by the way, guys, if you have it. Otherwise, you might have. Already have. Oh no, there's in-game voice chat. Yeah, yeah. Always yeah, check. Always check for in-game voice chat when doing multiplayer. Rule of thumb of games. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there is. See, I knew it was smart to mention it. Um, okay, so I've just lowered the settings to I've just lowered the settings to medium and lower the pulse processing to low. Unfortunately, can't lower it to off, but that's fine. I really this is actually a pet peeve of mine too. Post processing quality is is shitty when you see that because that's lumping numerous things together that really should be individually controllable, such as volumetric fog, um, motion blur, uh, ambient occlusion, uh, probably even things like SSAO. Actually, that might be under anti aliasing. My point is that there's a whole bunch of stuff that you really should be able to individually toggle and perhaps turn off. So when they lump it under one setting, I don't appreciate that. Uh, I bet you anything, I could literally dig into the config files right now and find the individual options and change them in the config file. So this is really just lazy. <laughs> these these are available to individually select. If you probably if you bother to look at the config file, actually you know what? Screw it, I'll look at it real fast. I'm curious. So yeah, this game's performance is not giving me a good impression. Gameplay seems like like it's going to be Alien Swarm. That's a good thing. Gameplay probably is going to be fun. I don't appreciate their their performance mindset though. It's another case, I actually criti I criticize this a lot on Halo for an hour, and there's a reason for it. If a dev doesn't consider performance, then they don't consider all players playing their game to have an enjoyable experience. And that's an important thing. You need to consider that. Um, if you if you are a dev legitimately trying to make a game for people to enjoy, performance is something that has to be on your mind, in my opinion. If you don't have that on your mind, then you're effectively gatekeeping your game. <laughs> it's like kind of an elitist crowd at that point, you know? Well, I could run the game, so I don't care that you can't run the game, sort of thing, you know? Oh my god! No, wait, no, never mind. <laughs> I thought the game was misnamed on, on in its Steam folder. I found a folder called Broke Protocol. Apparently that was a different game. Alright, let's see here. This I is how that an... Game I don't even know, I don't even remember that game. It's apparently an empty folder, so it's something I must have downloaded and deleted. But it didn't delete all the way. Okay, this seems to be... Yeah, this looks like Unreal. All right, then. So if it's Unreal, that means it's probably not in this. Well, actually, it could be in this folder. Yeah, it's Unreal. So this is an Unreal -like game, which which, yeah, that's even more important to provide proper post processing options, like individual options and customization, because uh, Unreal Engine really loves to crank that shit up and ruin your computer. <laughs> uh, this is probably in, let's see, what's the developer name? Ocean Drive. OK, hold on. I don't think I need to actually have the individual file to edit this stuff, but it would be ideal to, to actually do that, so. Backup protocol, no. OSHA drive, no. Okay. Think about the Unreal Engine and Unity, they're pretty predictable in how they save stuff, so you just generally look the same place for any game made it under the engine, and you can probably find what you're looking for. Uh, nope. And it might end up. Unless they, of course, abbreviated the internal name or something, then it gets confusing. Uh, let's see. Huh. Might be under BP, actually. BP client, here we go. That's probably it. So they did make the internal name weird. Well, thought so. Yep, that's the one. Okay. Save games, config, here we go. Let me find out here. Yeah, okay, engine and game. Here we go. I and I file. Why is it empty? That's weird. <laughs> huh. Game user settings? Oh, there they are. Yep, right there. Oh, post processing. Qual Here, let me uh, let me do this. Haha. <laughs> oh wait, why is it giving me a resolution quality of eighty-seven percent? That's weird. Yeah, yeah, I thought so. So, 
I would like to point this out. So we have these are the options you have right here for quality. In the in the just by diving into the INI file, I also see options for foliage quality. And uh View distance, which is also not here, which is kind of interesting, actually. Oh, wait, why is... Hmm. You know, a view distance of two is probably not necessary for a game that's probably top-down. <laughs> for the most part. Two is, like, uh, high. No, actually, no. Two is medium. So it did actually lower when I selected uh, custom. When I selected custom size. Something lowered it. I don't know what. Maybe the... Uh, I don't know. Maybe effects quality or something did. But yeah, uh... What's interesting is that I think I can do this. All right, there we go. So I just, uh, oh, wow. Yeah, there's even options in here. I wonder if they're over here, actually. I think I just found accessibility options. No, they're right here. Okay, they do actually let you turn this off here. That's good. I was going to say camera shake is something that makes some people feel sick, so. Um, yeah, okay. I just lowered the post process quality to zero, though, so I'm just going to restart real fast. And then we'll get started. Wait, looks at top left is Steam true. What? Wait, wait, did it say that on my screen? Hated? It says it says it's on the game itself, apparently. Congratulations. Uh, just give us a sec for, for you to get on the you menu. Oh, do, 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 not, do not say I have to do the tutorial again just because I left at that moment. No, okay, good. Oh, we're, oh yeah, is Steam true? That... Well, I mean, like, maybe there's different... Like, maybe there's, like, an Epic Store version of the game, or maybe there's, like, an Itch.io version of the game. So I understand that eternal code to check if it's, a, if it's a Steam version or not. However, I don't know why that's displaying here. That's kind of odd. I mean, I understand the version and build number and a revision displaying, if that might be useful information for some people, but... Uh, anyways, I lowered... Nope, oh, it's still back to low. I may not actually go to zero, then. I know for a fact that Unreal does support zero as an option, though. Yeah, bumped it back up. Okay. What's weird here is that apparently my resolution quality is at 87%, and there's no way to change that. Unless it's part of the texture quality or something. Huh. Well, anyways, let's just play. <laughs> Sorry I'm overly investigative here. I'm just in an investigative mood today, I think. Don't worry about it. So we have four. How we have, dare you? Sorry, we have three characters to play as, right? No, four. We have four, four. characters to play, but it's up to three players. I guess it's always One allowed. One will be left behind. Wait, is, it is three players, right? I think that was what it said. I'm pretty sure it said three players. Fairly sure. I mean, there's nothing wrong with having four players. I just find it odd. Four, four characters. I mean, I just find it a little odd. Sorry. Right, anyways, no. If it were four players, we'd be fine Options to good. pick one to pick one character. So let's see, Boy Scout. So you guys can't read this, but their abilities are listed in the lower right. So let me see here. It all seems like something's off with this game. Yeah, feels like there might be a polish issue, um, and a, a thoughtfulness issue. Thoughtfulness is a weird metric. I I judge games on thoughtfulness a fair bit though. Um, basically, did the developer think of this? The developer consider this play approach or this play style or this player or this computer type or thoughtfulness is a, is a quality I don't see in a lot of game devs <laughs> unfortunately uh, but when I see it I try to point it out because it's a good quality um, let's let's check the ability so I can pick who I'm going to play as primal outburst of latent telekinetic energy damages and repels nearby foes so that sounds like a shockwave attack okay good for if you're getting yeah. I'll just uh, pick whatever you guys whatever you guys don't okay red over time and mysterious sin Synesthetic connection of machines typically increases increases reload speed and rate of fire. That sounds more my style. Uh, severance for scapel. A merciless close range finisher lunges a single enemy, dealing high second damage and regain it as health if the target is killed. Fair enough, but I don't really like melee in this, these sort of games. It's a, I only melee if I have to in these sort of games. Uh, Beaker recovery vial, a miraculous chemical cocktail courtesy of a triple PhD in advanced biotech. Uh, heals oneself and nearby allies. So they, so Beaker is absolutely the healing character. I'm gonna pick Red. All right, what are you picking, SR? Uh, stuck between Scalpel and Beaker. Yeah, three players. I was right. Okay, then I'll go Boy Scout. Oh, that's weird. Okay, th here's why. Wow, if you if when you hit play game, 
So this is exactly why I'm glad you guys are here with me, because it is really weird to me. I do find it a little bit sus that... Now, I'm not judging the company for not responding. They might have their reasons, or maybe they didn't get the emails I sent. I did send more than one, but maybe it's a bad address or something. Um, but they only gave me one review key, and it's kind of weird for a, th a game that's designed around three players. And this makes it very clear it's designed around three players. Squad here has enemy HP at 100%, and data nug drop rate at 100%. If you play Rogue, one player, it's enemy HP 80%. Data nug drop rate seventy five percent. So clearly, this isn't the intended playstyle, and also it's in beta, while it squad is, is not. It is possible that they expected you to play beta. Maybe they did, but it's kind of a weird thing. Normally, um, when review keys are given out to a game by uh, uh, by a dev, uh, to me, typically speaking, they want me to have the most optimal experience of the game, whatever the game is most designed around. If that happens to be multiplayer, I typically get offered keys, uh, multiple keys for that purpose. So it's kind of weird that a multiplayer-focused game did not the devs didn't want to give me multiple keys for some reason. Kind of odd, but uh, I mean, we worked made it work, so it's fine. Also, hello, Leafian. That is quite a funny person name. <laughs> There she goes. Now, hopefully, this is the hopefully the performance is good. Uh, we'll see. Friends only room. Oh, I should be on scene. I'm not actually online, am I? No. Fix that. Okay. There we go. I apparently have a lot of messages. Okay. So I'm gonna create a room. All right. I guess I'm doing that. <laughs> Nice car. <laughs> Why did it like freeze for a second? Not sensing the best performance here of this game. <laughs> Alright, it's all well, I mean that's what I'm picking, because that's what I have. Reloading. Oh your car is that's kinda cool. You, oh my god, okay. Hmm. <laughs> did, did we just drive our personal car? Yeah, you ran me over. <laughs> the site. Yeah, I think that was me that almost ran you over. I'm sorry. <laughs> it just got pushed away. It's fine. I'm going to lower the settings some more. I, I get the impression that... So here's the thing about Unreal Engine. I don't like it. I think developers can absolutely use it well. But if they don't, Unreal has a tendency to enable all the options. And... One thing I've noticed is that Unreal's particle effects are really bad. So, for instance, would you guys like like look towards our cars for a second? You see the you see the dust just casually coming off the ground. Yeah, that's gonna fuck everything up in Unreal Engine, to put it very simply. Um, so I, I have okay, lowered the settings down more. Basically, any type of, anything any sort of volumetric fog or particle effects will be a problem in Unreal unless the developer knows what they're doing. I don't get the impression this developer optimized the Unreal Engine experience here. So, what's this? Uh, probably where you call more people. Oh, yeah, if you want to switch characters. What's this? Okay. The door. Yeah, look at this. Guys, guys, I lowered the settings all the way, and those lights are still having a reflective flare. Come on, man. That's not low settings. <laughs> Actually, none of this is low settings. Look at the- we're having glare and reflections in the puddle. I have things on low when it doesn't even feel like it. Yeah, this is uh, one of those games where the developer didn't care about performance. Because when you change graphic options and you don't see any changes and there's still all these random effects on, you know they didn't care. <laughs> you know they didn't bother to look and see what low settings actually did. You know. Hopefully the game runs okay. There's even motion blur still. When I look at look when I aim, you can see it. Oh, oof, oof, oof! I hate that. I always oh, no, motion. No, I'm gonna not do that. Like the further, like the further you aim, you can see it really bad. Wow, might be a reset for changes. Oh uh, well, I mean, I I guess the, I could give the game a fair shake by resetting. Sure. I I think the laser is to indicate how far their bullets go. Oh yeah, absolutely. All right, I'll give it a reset. Hmm, sus. I lowered all the settings, but only I went to the project file. Only half of them are lowered. Hmm. Let me. Hold on a sec. I'm just checking about, uh, because because unfortunately motion blur kills me. Like it just it, it gives me a headache. So uh, 
But yeah, there's there, there's another sign that you know you're dealing with an Unreal Engine game. If you lower all the settings and you still have motion blur, <laughs> you know you're dealing with Unreal. Hmm. That's just, just how it is. Even Unity doesn't do that shit. Uh, um, Unity isn't perfect either, but it does, it's better than that. Okay, I'm going to try my little trick where if you... Sometimes when you edit the eye and eye, it doesn't matter because when you restart the game, it just updates to what it wants anyways. But there's a little trick around that. Do you know the trick? <laughs> Edit the I and I, right click, select read only mode. <laughs> Stop, and then you then the game cannot change it. So I've just now messed with the sayings and then locked them to read only. As of this moment, you are officially Hopefully that actually fixes the issue. S2P. But I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. Or maybe you just crash. Honestly, I'm too scared to mess with the files to do that. I think I did change things. Things are a little, a little different now, I think. If it didn't ask you to reset to fix changes, then I assume it does it on the fly. I agree, but also, I actually, like, legitimately observed. Okay, I just made a room. I, did, I don't think I selected friends only this time, but it's fine. Also, hello, Aqua. Welcome to the stream. Hopefully, I don't try and run you over this time. Nope, I did hit a barrel. Peter is way too happy to you be hit here. a barrel? Reload. Wait, who's happy? Uh, Beaker. Oh, hello. <laughs> what, why are they too happy to be? Too, maybe they just like to experiment. Yeah, so uh, I don't... In her animation, she just kind of skips around towards the exit. Wait, I just realized something. As soon as the alert comes in. If an option doesn't exist, you can add it yourself. I just remembered. Hold, hold on, I need to know this. I need to know this. This is kind of important for me. Uh... Yeah. Can I? I'm curious. No, no, no. I was wondering if I could open console, because R dot motion blur is zero also is totally a way to fix that. Though I believe... I'm trying to remember how you add it to the I and I. Because there's... Because I bet it's still on, isn't it? Wait. Did I kill it? Hold on. Back it up. Yeah, that, that, I think I killed the motion blur. Would you like to kill the motion blur in your game too, Esler? Because I know that you have migraine issues. Uh, not enough to do anything fancy. Oh, okay. If you're wondering what I did to fix it, the motion blur is enabled by default because post-processing quality, even at low, keep as I said, it was lumped with motion blur. Post-processing post-processing quality included motion blur. I selected zero. It did not accept zero. That's off. It did not accept zero and would update the I and I every time I started the game. However, I selected zero in the I and I, then locked it to read only mode. It now cannot change it, and that killed the emotion blur. That's what I had to do to remove motion blur. And again, I'd like to note Unreal Engine is, is perfectly fine if the developer knows what they're doing of it and is smart and thoughtful and actually makes use makes, you know, worse works with the uh, works for the settings. It's fine. But if they don't, you get problems like this, where you gotta go into the I and I to edit out a thing that literally makes you feel sick. Oh, hey, Friendly Fire's the thing. Huh. Good to awesome. know. <laughs> Alright, let's let's start, though. Sorry for the long wind-up to actually play in here, but these problems do need to be addressed. Hopefully the game runs better now that I've... There's still light glare, but, I, you know, as long as the motion blur is off. I legitimately cannot play with that, so... Like, how? who wants motion blur in a top-down game as well? I can understand a little bit more in first-person games, at least a little bit, but... Stop. Is, is that a sure question? Uh, no, it's just a legit question, but... Why can't I run? Because oh. she's top that's game, a, I guess. That's the thing about these kind of games. You don't know. You just, you just power walk. But I was running earlier. You're always running. If you do, 
Wait, how did I turn your flashlight on? Because I just kind of did. Is it automatic? I'll make them available the next time you uh, There's quick chat, apparently. You'll get them eventually. Okay. This is so much better about motion paying? blur. Oh, that? I figured out how to melee. How? It's V. Oh. Dude. There. I found how to talk. <laughs> I, I don't know what other. I... Oh, I activate my ability. Oh, that's how long it takes to recharge. Well, that was actually useful. Okay. So, are you ready? Yeah, go ahead. Hi, Fox. So, did the settings update after restart? Am I able? I was unable to hear things. What? What? Uh, what? Settings update after restart? Yeah, they did. Unless I locked down, so I was only able to save my setting changes in the I and I by putting it to read only mode, so the game couldn't change it again. Okay, it's straightforward enough. Punch. What's this? A grenade. Sure, why not? How do I yeah, use this? But there's nothing left of them now. Yeah, now I can run. I, I hate it when a game, like, removes some of your controls, because it's like, oh, you haven't gotten to the actual combat area, so we're just going to disable your sprint or something. It's like, it's kind of weird. What is the sprint key? It is shift. It just wasn't working earlier. Oh, wait, now it's not working again. Wait, can you only sprint when there's enemies around? I think that's the case. Like, Seriously? No, no, I can't wait, sprint again. Why the hell no. can I? I was sprinting for a bit. Maybe it's another key. Ooh, this is pretty good. Wait, ammo? Oh yeah, I do run out of ammo over time. Okay. Oh, I have a handgun. Okay. Oh, that's how I suck grenade. Yeah, it's Miles Will as I fix. What's this, all this stuff? Oh, I'm I assuming can we all get people these. now. What does it deal physical damage? Deal thirty percent more when there are no enemies within five meters of you. Oh, okay, so. Yeah, and then there's... Wait, why am I on a timer to select? So that you don't waste our time. Wait, I can get Lone Shooter... Well, here's a weird thing. There's Lone Shooter 2, which is better than Lone Shooter 1, and I can get that, or I can get Lone Shooter 1. Yeah. That's kind of weird that I have a Yeah, there's a rarity. Oh. That device appears so you got a Platinum option. I also got a Platinum option for reviving people. What's this? Oh, I can buy it. Okay. Um, so I have 75% more damage if I do not have enemies near me. Five meters, whatever the fuck that is in a game. <laughs> I don't... Whenever a game's like, oh yeah, make sure that this is like five meters away from you, I'm like, okay, what does that actually mean, though? What is, like, I don't know what that... I don't know what that value means. I would assume that one meter is like the diameter of our little circle around us. That could be reasonable. I'll just try to keep enemies far away. So yeah, apparently I'm just gonna, like, almost... Not double damage, but... Quite a bit more. I got a decoy. Does that blow up? Okay, it does. How about not shooting at when I'm next to it? I mean, I just, I'm experimenting. Just gotta... Oh, it's med kits only, okay. It's like, I thought there was still an ammo kit there. I was like, I'm just gonna top off. Careful, agent. Some QTs respond to sound. I couldn't really fight in that situation because, yeah. Keep in mind if you're blocking a doorway, if you're ch say in the chokehold, I can't really. Oh god! Ah. Fuck! I was expecting yeah, a shot. Bad. Yeah, if you guys block a doorway, I just can't do anything. So those little things. Okay. Uh, too low to shoot. Little moves out of the way, things. so I stop shooting you. You move back into the way. Yeah, it's true. The friendly fire thing is actually pretty significant. I have a perk that heals you every uh, every ten seconds. By the Hold way. on. You know what? I, I don't know what these things are, but I can just. 
No, it doesn't they're look fine. like they don't, They're they fine. Don't I grenaded them and they're fine. All right. It doesn't look like they even yeah, You have a the that way. heals you every so often. I don't know what they are, but they're fine. Well, I, I might have misread that then, my mistake. I, I like how the grenade literally didn't even hurt those things. What are they? <laughs> so you're the tank then. I guess? Wow, I can just wreck those big zombies. As long as they're far enough away. Hologram decoy? What is. Oh, okay. Huh. Yeah, sure, why not? Yeah, they definitely don't like the light. Okay, what is up? Why are these things here? What are they doing? Oh. I don't know, but I'm going to push them out here. Let's bully them. them. <laughs> well, what the? Okay, apparently having them touch you makes your purple gauge go down. I don't know what that is. Oh. So they are bad? Then why can't I... Gr when, then why did the grenade do nothing to them? I don't know. You probably just need to scare them away. With a flashlight, apparently. That's just... Yeah, they're, they're just annoying. What's the purple meter Somebody, do? Well, you always have to stay in light. Oops. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's not good. Uh, Watch out. Oh, God. Uh, I can't help you there. I can help. Okay. Whoop. Oh, I'm being attacked by the little dudes. Just do a little circle if you're having problems with them, I think. Woo. Saw off shotgun blueprint. Sure, why not? <laughs> I can't say no to shotguns. So we did it. Uh, we did it. I guess I'll leave. All right. The power is restored. Uh, we have oh. to hit the switch again. The now. now the lights are on. You should be able to move on to the next area. It's still running poorly for you guys, isn't it, on stream? It's running okay for me, but like recording, when it comes to Unreal games, I generally can play them well, but recording them is a different story. Yeah, look at the dynamic lighting and stuff. Okay. It's uh, decent, you got your purple there, back. But there's still a few issues here and there. Still Looks bad. Looks like they died to the lights. Okay. Yeah, so I tried to... After this mission, I'm going to... Assuming I, I have a break moment, I'm going to try something. I'm going to try something dramatic. You can breathe now. These safe rooms are built throughout the facility for use in exactly this sort you of You have space. permission to breathe. If Yo, SMG2 though. Injuries, you can use the medical equipment a, to well, How do we get money? Is it just killing things? Yeah, I, I, I have 400. I could just yeah. buy this SMG. Nice. You guys want it or? I, well, hold on. How do I check my current Please weapon? Like a pair. I want to compare. At the appropriate oh, I, 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 I key. So let's see. Physical attack of 12, 8.3. All right. Is there like a DPS then? Let's see. I assume there's a form of DPS. No, I mean, no. I was hoping they would list a DPS stat rather than just stay in the attack power and the speed of the bullets. No, they do not state a DPS. So I have to find my own DPS with 12 damage, 8.3 is what I have for speed. This does 9 damage, 12.5. Wait, that sounds worse. I mean... Yeah, that is that. I mean, it's a little faster. It's quite a bit faster, but is the DPS better? That's kind of lame. Why have a gun-based game and not have a DPS score of some sort in, on the guns? Mm. I don't appreciate that. Like, I, I guess, I guess feel free. Like, it has a bigger clip though. That is a that is kind of a benefit. It might be best if I take it because of the fact I have the range thing. I mean, it's all yours today. Okay. I'm just trying to debate, like, enough money. 12 times 8.3 speed or 9 times 12.5 speed. It's like, what is more damage in that situation? I think it's more for the burst damage instead of the... Is it burst? Oh, is it burst? Okay. I mean, sure, let's try it. 
No, like, think about it for a sec. You shoot more with the same amount of bullets. Oh, my assault rifle's now here instead. You can just take it, I guess. Oh, actually, I can take- I can have two assault rifles. Holy Wait, you crap. can? Oh, really? Yeah, this is just straight up it replaces the pistol. Wait, hold on, let me see. Oh, you're right. Oh, I see okay, point. that's why you would ever buy the assault rifle one here. So you want his rifle or what? What are R and D and Sayak enhancements though? Uh, uh, so you want the another soft two rifle or were the the thing that I picked up that gave us perks. What's that? The nether cubes here are the perks. Yeah, but like, what? Are, there's two types that I don't understand. Reloading. Okay. Uh, <laughs> I, I see that my upgrades here. Offensive. I got the ammo capacity to replace it with another ammo capacity. I'm just like shrug and start putting points to that too. Reloading. I guess I know what I care about. And we didn't. We do run out of ammo somewhat quick, so it doesn't matter to me. So, so psionic would be like psychic stuff. And R and D would be like tech Gun stuff. stuff. Okay. I, I need more of a description if I want to buy something about that. Let's see here. And then there's the weapons. I need oh, more oh, of the money. Oh, oh, by the way, if you, I, I think if you get a blueprint that you die, you lose it. So you want to go with this machine to drop off the blueprint. I get the impression. Yeah. You probably lose everything when you die. Not all games should have a DPS number that make players. No brain things like extra effects and stuff. Oh yeah, it's true, but that's still a personal choice. You can choose to pay attention to the DPS number, or you can choose to not, you know? Honestly, I'm curious if the two assault rifles will run with the same ammo pool, or are they just a separate ammo pool? So that's what's causing me to, like, want to buy this, but also be not sure. Yeah, fuck it, I'll try it. I'll still let you Wait, know. wait, wait, I can, I, can just, uh, I can just drop yours back. Okay, sure. That would be a better than buying and to check. Let's see here. I'll drop it again. I'll drop it again in a second if it works out. Okay, there we so, go. Okay, so 120, 180. All right, and then oh, reloading. 106, 180. Okay, no, the other gun has still the same ammo count listed as extra ammo. So it does seem they have different ammo. Either they oh, have different nice. ammo. Either they have different ammo types. Well, it says type ammo, so. They all have type ammo, but I guess they have their own ammo pools. Is is the point? Uh, here, That's I'll, pretty good. I'll yeah, give you a weapon that you ammo. Feel free to have that back. To something else. In that case, I'll buy the assault rifle. There we go. Okay. All right. Ooh, there is one bad thing about the ammo kits I don't like. I would prefer if they worked in a way where they had like, I don't know, 500 ammo, and then if you wired like, you need like 100 ammo, it took 100 ammo of that and left the other 400 still there. But it seems like if you nope. pick it up, it just removes it immediately, no matter how much you need it. Uh, if you pick it up, you get ammo. It'd be nice if everybody could share a little bit, you know, if, they, if everybody just seen a little bit of the well, That's why it drops one for each of us. Oh, that's fair. Actually, I didn't know that, but fair enough. I mean, if it didn't, I will just do my best to conserve ammo at that point. It said that in the tutorial. The, the blueprint no, I thing. wouldn't. I was a little distracted during the tutorial, though, because I was just, like, wanting to lower the settings. <laughs> Which I feel like is fair enough, honestly. This area I'm still confused. So hold on. Barriers. Wait, before you go further. Nested fallback points. There is no sprint key, but I swear sometimes I have sprinted, and I don't know why. Hang on, let me have a look at the controls. Uh, did you press your button? You mean Q? Maybe that's it. Yeah. Because that makes everything faster. Yep, that makes you faster too. But I was literally doing a sprint right. animation. No, not... no, it doesn't make you any faster. No, also, I, I was I'm literally- not I was, I was oh, literally doing- right what there. the hell? Oh god, okay. Oh, they come out of the vents, that makes sense, I suppose. No, they were just standing there. Okay, it seems... Oh, a charger? Oh, hi. Alright, anyways. It dropped a claymore. Nether cube. Wait, does that drop for everybody, or do we have to pick who gets it? I think that uh, dropped for everyone last time. Okay. 
Uh, I'm in. Oh shit. Uh, let's see. 50% weapon damage against targets not currently engaged in combat. Oh, that seems mildly useful, I guess. Uh, 30% uh, damage from uh, for if I have the same weapon. I While you're on the move, all allies within 7 meters gain 10% movement speed. That device appears to have modified um, the support. synaptic structure. You know, I suppose I'm not, okay. Let me try to attack things first, I guess, because apparently surprise attack. I'm gonna do 50% plus my 75%. Oh, those uh, those guys need to yeah, no, open the door. Okay. I think we need to. Yeah, they're on the other side first. of the door. I have the feeling that we're gonna get swarmed, so it might be best if we all just hold up here. Yeah, hold back here. I, you guys can. I'll move back slowly. Okay, are you ready? Yeah. Remember, it is good to have different angles of the friendly fire. That's why I'm also doing that. I gotta say, this is a bad angle though, because like looking down is a bad angle to like see targets. Does she say "watch my butt" literally every time I reload? No. Yep. Okay, Looks not that like time. Come closer to me. Behind us. Or don't. I was dealing with the behind us. And the, uh, how about that side? Sorry. I'll take I'm top. Lamb, I'll take pistol. top. Top is mine. You. Sorry if I crossfire. I was, I was just trying to help. To be fair, I did shoot you a couple times when I was saying. No, I was, I was saying that to Esler, saying sorry, because I was trying to shoot the target that was swarming you. That was already dead by the time you started shooting. Quite a few up north. north. Tough guy to the north. Don't even worry about it, it's fine. I was like, I, I don't mind the crossfire in that situation. Well, that oh. was brutal. Ah, so the ammo does completely replenish you, though, at least. It appears. Meanwhile, I have, like, 90 pistol shots. No healing? Okay. Uh, no, I don't have any right now. Okay, I don't know how it works, you didn't tell me. <laughs> uh, it's on cool down. It goes on cooldown for a full minute whenever I use it. Okay. Oh, that is- Oh, gun guys, shit! <laughs> Watch my butt. Apparently- Okay, I'm gonna back up a little bit. The gun guys are... kind of erratic. Oh my god. Okay. Yeah, Bomber. there is a blaral blaral barrel there. I bet I was kind of listening. I was considering using it during the free swipe, but I just didn't end up doing so. What's this? Wait, what? Is that the blueprint? No, it's a security key Leo level two. Hello. She says watch my butt so oh god. Oh they have guns, okay. I've distracted them. You're Distract welcome. What did Thanks you this? I don't know what's going on with you guys. I'm fine. Guys with guns. For oh, fuck's sake, someone. Stay near the healer. I'm about to heal. Oh, I'll pick that up in a bit. Oh, never mind. <laughs> I actually need an ammo. Well, before I press and hold that, I want to clear the area. I really feel like we should be able to run. Don't you? Magnetic readings in your area. Do you see anything strange nearby? Ooh, like, I'm just observing. Cube. I'm just. Oh, okay. Let's see here. Uh, what does the deal psionic damage deal 50% more? Your special ability rolls, cools down faster. When packed, you have your weapons, the deal psionic damage. No, okay. I guess meditation, because I don't really care about psionics too much. Yoink. 
that was purely psionic options for me. So interesting. Yeah, sure. That device. I, keep, I, I actually help. haven't used my ability. Oh, is that? I wonder where it came it from. It doesn't look like there's anything else around. Move. Wow, the plus fifty percent health that it gave me came in empty. Removing those. <laughs> Is there a controller? No, it's just I. I say like I. I definitely ran at some point. Wait, have maybe it's no. There is a controller settings, but I'm not seeing anything for sprint. Yeah, there is a button layout. It's right here. I looked at it earlier. There's nothing for sprint. There's no sprint option. That's why I immediately looked for it. I guess there's rolling, but. Makes you go a little bit faster, or being near me also makes you go faster. That's possible. Yeah, well, so yeah, it does. Maybe, maybe it does, yeah. I just feel like our movement speed is too slow. Like, I understand that you don't want to be super fast in, in this style of game, but I think aliens were giving more speed than this. There. We should By probably the way, run back. I don't yeah, have we any. Should, we, should, we should run back. I mean. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh. Oh, crap. We may be screwed. Yeah. I'll fight these guys. I got a claymore. Put it down a claymore. Don't yeah, run into the claymore. I tried not to. I don't know what you are, but have a grenade. Oh, the little guys are here too. Watch out for them. Oh, I could use that. Thank you. What the oh, fuck? I'm down. Yes, you are. I tried to revive you. Wait, what? The gun guy shot a zombie. You might want to consider running, Cherry. I'm fine. Yeah, don't throw next to that guy. You are not fine. I actually thought that guy. I, that guy teleported, by the way. He was up north. I was fighting him. All right, hated. I think you're too skittish for this game. You gotta, you gotta be a little more. <laughs> You guys backed off really fast. I think that was actually the worst surgery. No, I mean, Hated was on no health. And I ran in to help. Oh. Yeah, I felt like where I stood... Uh, you were on the other side of the room. I want to go back to Baby U, I guess. Hold on. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do a thing. Because I'd like to do a thing. Because this is going to be amusing. One second. It'll, I'll have you a second, and then we'll start back up. Not too bad for a first attempt, though. Um, twinking. Start with SMGs. Wait, what? Twinking equals false. Okay, <laughs> that's an option apparently. The in the I and I. So you can't uh, help. Other, you can't be a high level player helping low level players immediately get powerful. Not allowed. I think that's what that term means with MMOs, if I recall. I believe it was the opposite. Or is it the other way around? I think that was when you have a high-level character to get a, a character who is at, like, the maximum level for, like, a PvP tier to have uh, the best gear. Uh, also, it's more of a Zamble game, As Aqua. This moment, you are Did the, I mean, I think. To be fair, zombie games and alien games can basically be the same thing. Sometimes. Alright, so... Unless it reset them, I don't think it did. I was just like, you know what, I want to improve the performance more, so I've now just set every user saying to zero. Which should lower... I'm... So, graphics, off. <laughs> the, the off setting for that. No. I don't know if that will actually do anything, but... So I guess we just restart? I may be skittish, but to be fair, I haven't played a game like this in a long while. Well, that's fair. I I'm just... definitely would not call you skittish, considering you're the first to zero HP every combat. What, me? Or him? You, you had to go no, there. No, Hated. Oh. <laughs> well, actually, Hated isn't that sk it wasn't that skittish during uh, other game we just played. Fuck names. You mean Barony? Yeah. Like, I he swear, every combat Barry. starts with me running straight over to Hated to heal.
just occurred to me that when you select your weapon, it doesn't tell you what the max clip is. It only tells you what the one oh. clip is. You hit two shots with the shotgun. Makes sense. And 35 shots. 35 shots max, which is what I actually cared about. Also, that seems kind of shitty, but... Reloading. I mean, the damage isn't even that impressive, if you look. Oh, it is psionic damage, though. I guess that's something. Though the game has failed to explain what the difference of these damage types Reloading. is. Wait, you got a shotgun and you got a psionic weapon? I feel like I got cheated. I got SMG. What? It's just the psionic shotgun. You didn't get the shotgun? Everybody got the shotgun. No, I got an SMG. Reloading. Oh. Huh. Okay. I'm gonna stick with the assault rifle. By the way, I have more of the settings even front. more, and it's just not changing anything. Actually, wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm gonna have to restart this okay. one more time. Because I just, it's, I just had an epiphany. Hold on. I'm gonna change one more thing. <laughs> That's gonna be bad. Well, don't do it if it's gonna be bad. Well, it's gonna be funny. So I'm gonna do oh, it. I'll do it then. <laughs> also, I may as well lower the resolution. One thing I noticed about the animation that plays when uh, I select Beaker is that uh, Beaker just throws the test tubes that she's playing around with, uh -huh. and they hit the ground, and just nothing happens. Really? Uh, they don't break, there's no spill, they just kind of bounce. <gasps> there it is! Frame rate limit equals zero. In other words, frame rate limit unlimited, and there was no option in game to oh. change that. I don't believe. Just change it to sixty. That might improve the performance. That sounds a like bit. a great idea. Oh, it's it's very normal for Epic uh, for Unreal Engine games actually. Uh, full screen mode equals zero, and resolution equals. There we go. All right, that should set it up. Yeah, I was looking for that earlier, but I couldn't find it. I had a feeling that the frame rate was probably really shitty. Uh, and that was part of the instability, but I couldn't verify that. Now I probably improve things. We'll see if I'm right or not. Okay. Thanks for the patience, by the way, everyone. Including both stream, stream goers and, and people playing with me. Uh, these games me tweaking them it, it may not be the most interesting thing but there's a reason i do it and there's a reason i explain oh you still are trying to full screen you piece of shit Congratulations. did you not adjust As that no i literally told to go winded mode but it's not <gasps> oh you have to you have to adjust the resolution to make that work no you gotta do both actually hold on a second hold thought hold thought Wow, okay. Yeah, everything's a little off center right now. Hold on a minute. Well, that's just really cool. Now, granted, when you mess an eye eye, you might break something, but that should. Okay, I guess. Hmm. Maybe it's two. Thought it was, thought it was zero, but maybe it's two. All right. That should set it. And yeah, I, I actually locked the frame rate down. Could you actually, you guys, Essler and Hated, check your options menu. Do you have an option to adjust the frame rate? Or the, yeah, the frame rate? This is an important question. No, I do not. I have graphics quality, texture quality, shadow effects, anti-aliasing, process nope. post-processing. But no, uh, nothing that you're that you want to adjust. Mm -hmm. So it doesn't let you adjust the frame rate. Well, yeah, Unreal Engine defaults to unlimited. You are officially unlimited. unlimited is fine if you got a god PC, but even then, I don't really see the point. Anyways, now it is it is limited to sixty FPS, which I did through the INI. Yeah, this is leaving me a bad taste in my mouth too. I don't think the gameplay is that bad, but. This just reeks of developer didn't really give a shit and just assumed everybody had a god tier computer like they did. Which too many developers do. I don't know why this is such a common issue, but it just seems like all the time 
I see developers just not even give a shit or even consider people of weaker systems. And I just don't get it, man. It's like they don't bother testing off of their own computer. Anyways, uh, let's see if this approves things. Now, this is early access, I should note, but that doesn't really excuse it. It's just kind of a core framework situation, you know? All right, I'm back up. You guys can join. It's like a, it's a core framework situation. Yeah, take that barrel. But yeah, now we now I'm actually now that I have the frame rate locked, it should be better. Oh, 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 that's great. Look, look, the fact that I lowered things to zero, you can see it. If you pay attention to how things load in when I approach different directions. Like, I just realized something even worse about the fact that we're apparently taking our personal cars. Ah! One, our personal cars are just loaded with guns, always. Uh, two, it's stated in the intro, we are not within 100 miles. And three, both of those points together. That's why our cars are so dirty, so we drove so far. We drove over 100 miles with a trunk just loaded full of high-powered weaponry. I assume we're like FBI or something, so we just pull out our badge and people don't ask questions or something. I don't know. God, I hope the hotels are decent on the way here. <laughs> Honestly, I really like the, the personal cars thing. Like, that is a great attention to detail. It is amusing. It is kind of weird, though, the two of us have the same car. Well, one of us doesn't. Did you, did you notice that? Yeah. We should probably all have different cars. If so, your loadout isn't up to the task, feel free to help Also, to are we having different... Like, is it loading inside. different environments? Or... <laughs> yeah, it looks what? like it. What, what's funny? Uh, just what the lady said. What'd she say? Uh, if your firearms are not up to the task or something, feel free to, to help yourself to any of the weapons that you find inside. I mean, a free gun's a free gun. I'm not gonna turn it down. It's like, no, we're not going to equip you. Just we find it yourself. So I'm actually curious, streamgoers, watch the performance for me, especially on your end. Tell me if it's any better this time. Come on, jump down too high. Ow! Sorry. No, 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 it was totally me, and I did that intentionally because he literally yeah. got in the way of me. I wasn't moving, and he got in the way, so I shot anyways. <laughs> that was his own- that was Esler's own fault, hello. I wanted to punch them! Well, you could have punched them from the side, so I could have shot them. I did the punch them from the side. <laughs> you moved around, actually. <laughs> No, I was perfectly stationary. Not on my end. Everybody watch that. Clip it and put it in chat. Zarek says it looks better. It probably is smoother, isn't it? It looks smoother on my end when I look at the preview. Oh, so you, you guys take the grenades. I never remember to throw them. I'm very one trick pony in these games. I don't remember my abilities and shit. No, you're a dog. Dog pony. Oh, uh, we have a go back and grab the ammo. Sorry, I ran. Sorry, I got distracted. I shot at you because there's an enemy just popped up out of I was like, oh, okay. Does anyone see a blueprint here? Never yeah, pop, pop action shotgun. Okay, now it uh, now it appeared for me this time around. I don't know why you got an SMG there. Flamethrower blueprint. So it's random for everyone. Well, I don't have a pump action. Yeah, I have like, a shot off. So that's a. Different I have a flamethrower now. That's that's a different shotgun, to put it simply. Oh, that derp fridge just followed. Thank you for following. That's a good name. Okay. Wait, hip fire is easier. That's weird. Hip fire is you have a little more mobility when you do it. Yeah, I mean that makes sense. Oh, all right. Uh, what's down here? Can't go Ooh, that way. Hello. Oh. We can buy a tactical crossbow. 
Oh, uh, we were like 103 short. <laughs> Twitch stopped being broken. Oh, well, thank okay. you, JV, for sub subscribing because Twitch stopped breaking. I appreciate that. Well, 30% faster revives. I'll take mm. that. Reload automatically after killing a target with a firearm. Wait, I just realized lo Lone Shooters 1 and 2 probably could stack. I don't know, maybe. They both showed up at the same time, so they probably can. Also, sorry, what did you get? Sh sh should, we, should we try and uh, come back to this? I got a 30% faster revive. Come back to uh, what? Every time... Uh, the the cross lock. So what does that have to do with reviving? Uh, maybe. Uh, the uh, the thing I picked up right here? Yeah. It's a perk. Yeah? So why are we talking about the well, cross What does that have to do with the crossbow? Explain? Okay, I got I got confused. I was wondering if we could like come back to the crossbow after we kill a few more enemies. Why? <laughs> <laughs> Answer why? <laughs> we don't have enough fucking money. That's why. Oh, I'm rich. I could just yeah, buy right why now. come back? How much do you have? Five hundred and thirty-one. Okay, what the fuck? I have one hundred ninety-seven. Are you killing uh, things? I have one hundred eighty. Yes, oh. I was. Huh. I guess you're doing most of the killing then. Yeah, you're I... stealing all the kills. Oh, fair enough then. Uh, uh, I okay, think it's well, whoever it, gets the um, last I'll, hit I'll gets just, the money. I'll just go. <laughs> well, no, I could technically just buy it for you if you buy something later. No, I'm good. I'm good. No, no, no. Here, if you want it. No, I'm already gone. All right. <laughs> Third party eh. intrusion detected. The board. Uh, anyway, uh, I automatically reload every time I kill something. Just forever. It's just a thing now. Oh, good guys. They say that it's a third party, because they're also killing the zombies. Huh. What? There's explosive barrels everywhere. Yeah. Did, did they just... You know, I did mention, like, just a moment yeah, ago, there's explosive... Shoot them. There's explosive barrels everywhere. We didn't shoot them. <laughs> Why do you these guys think I didn't go that way? Did. <laughs> it's yes, that's a possibility. Yeah, that's why. That's why I recommended maybe blowing them up before advancing. That's what I was no, going to say. You just said they were there. Man, I it's didn't... almost like I was going to say that, but then you died too quickly, so I couldn't finish my statement or something. We didn't think there were any <laughs> enemies there. Never assume. No, I saw the enemies. Oh, thanks. I need a second helping of explosives in my life. It's okay, I got this shit. Ow. I, I don't care if there were, were enemies or not. Walking between a bunch of they explosives. They're losing health. Oh, you guys can be revived. Yeah. I didn't know that. I thought I just had to, like, find a bed station. No! Oh, cool. oh my god, we have so little HP. I had no idea I could heal you. Oh, we can't be healed anymore. Alright. So I have to pick you up. I didn't yeah, realize all the health that was a thing. Yeah, the health that we lose while we're on the floor is permanent. No. Stay back. Stay back. Why? Oh, I didn't Why even see that. Why are you shooting it? Because it's not good to leave them around. Did you maybe notice that you died? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there's enemies there. There are no enemies here. Always destroy those things. Ah, oh. uh, we should have charm in front. Uh, yeah, well, maybe we should. I should. No, hold on. Wait, charm wait. is the only one with them. Why? Who did that? Why? Was that you? It, it just bounced off you for whatever reason. Why did you throw that? I wanted to throw it at the enemies there. I, I, it was a flashbang. My god. Listen. <laughs> we I can noticed throw that it was a flashbang. Listen, let me do shit, alright? <laughs> at least for the moment. There we go. <laughs> Can't take you anywhere. Alright, let's see. Alright. Oh, I have like none ammo. 
for the children that he can't take our, his eyes off of for like five seconds in the mall. Hold on, wait, 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 wait. No, 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 stop. Back up, back up, back up. I'm gonna do a good thing. Watch out! There. <laughs> you did it. Now back up. Back up, okay, or don't. Alright. That side is safe now. A lot of grenades here. Maybe I should throw another one. I will throw another one. Uh, is there anything uh, you know, it kind of just showers you in grenades. It really wants to encourage you to actually use them. Yeah, I'm almost like starting to actually use them since, I, since, it, since it wants me to have them so bad. Okay, so that guy's already there. Oh, there's another perk over there. That's even a gun. <laughs> Oh, those guys came in quick. Grenade out. <laughs> At least you could heal me. <laughs> Push. Whoa! Well, stop, 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 stop. Which is what? Three. Fine. Two. I'm just like warning you guys. Like, I'm gonna do it. You could have just not. No. You literally demonstrate why I should. You guys would heal on those, probably. Ooh. Okay. I cannot um, deal with this, apparently. Well, I'm a shooter now. Eh. Uh, so in addition to... Short. In addition to automatically reloading whenever I kill something... I now do 70% more damage if I'm not within 5 meters of an enemy. Huh. Why don't I have a feeling there's a horde that's just on your side? Can you guys heal all the med kits or uh, not? I mean... No, we can't. Okay. So we gotta be Yeah, ready. we're at full oh, HP. Uh, what the fuck? Alright. Oh, find us, okay, find us! Like, I got the behind. Right, I already got the behind. No, Eight don't. perks. Nine Choke in. cold. Man, I am sick of my character saying "watch my butt." Oh, uh, you guys need help with that? I'm dead. Yes. Hated, hated. You fucking into my bolts. <laughs> I was like, "Fuck you!" I'm gonna kill you before you charge me. Okay, why are there so many enemies just immediately moving forward? What the hell is this about? I... I'm not sure. Oh, shit. Come on. Pick me up, please! Thought I was toast. As long as I have at least one HP, I'm still good to go. You said thought I was toast, and I may, may have thought was no, but I'll still eat you. <laughs> what? Reloading. But I did drop... I don't know why I pointed that out. I dropped a hack. I don't think that matters. Uh, so, yeah, I don't know why enemies attack from behind there, it's kind of weird. Oh, action shotgun blueprint. Do you guys want me to take, please. like, actual point for a minute? Oh, that was the exit, that's why- We turned yeah. the whole exit away, that's why it was such a big fight. I didn't even go near it, though. You guys- You can breathe. You walked slightly towards These it. These safe rooms are built throughout the facility for use in exactly this sort of- Yeah, I'm, I'm a little bothered by my movement speed, I feel like my character is just having a leisurely stroll through the you park or something. That's, that's where we can recover our max HP reminder, here. All assets acquired can you? Your mission Don't care. Exclusive yeah, we can, we just go to this, uh, computer here. Please submit all no, 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 go- no, go over there, Essler. The go use it, use your healing ability on both of you, and then you interact with the machine. By the time you finish interacting, your cooldown will be over, you can do it again. It's planning. Start with the healing, Could. and then- Start with healing, and then- But I'm already here now. Yeah, well. Well, just play- just save it. Ah, uh, level 69. Uh, okay. Oh, I can just hold down the button. Wait, what did I unlock? Oh, I unlocked another- I made my cooldown faster. 
Wow. There's an ability that just in reduces incoming damage by one, which I assume is actually kind of a big deal. And I'm sure you can build up on that more. I'm more getting a bionic in hand. Oh! Well, okay, I'm just going to immediately start... You know what? I was going towards Meg Pouch, but no. I'm just going to go for Hidden Cash. Hidden Nugs drop 10% more often. Yeah, just... when As soon sure. as you unlock the second tier, just... I have auto heal now. Just all the data nugs at that point. Why the hell not? That is an obvious... Like, whenever you get the option of... Hey, do you want more upgrade things to spend on all the other upgrades? You unlock that first. You you focus that. You focus that first. <laughs> I didn't even see that. It, it, it unlocks second tier when you unlock the second oh, tier. Oh, yeah. There it is. Well, next time. Wait, did you guys... Oh, if you buy a cube. Oh, that's... Okay, well, that sucks. I don't need the nether cube. I was going to buy that one. <laughs> Yeah, apparently these ones are not for everyone. So who bought the? What did it give you? I, I bought the crossbow. I'm really no, hoping. No, 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 the, the cube. Bionic. I the it, listen. If I can get lone, if I can get the lone soldier thing twice, I will do 200 percent damage. So that I really, yeah, I'm gonna focus those. I guess uh, I'll buy this. Was that? Even, it's it's definitely gray. The one you bought. The psionic ones are useless to me. These so are the you, green ones. Or, and those are the purple ones. Green. It was green then. It wasn't the purple. Purple are just like not that interesting for me. So I guess I can reduce cooldown on the ability I forget to use all the time. I also just don't really use abilities in games. The ones that I were uh, getting were red. Which is not green or purple. Well, I don't know what I grabbed then. It was like one of the early, like the first one we grabbed in this level was the one. The first cube we ran into that we all shared was the one that I need. That was Nether Cube. Was it? Yeah. Well, which Just one? Nethercube. Just Nether Cube? Oh, okay. Just Nether Cube. So it probably has now, Nether these Cube. These give you a specific color. Yeah, Nether Cube probably gives you all of the above. <laughs> Yeah, just a random assortment of whatever. Is there a way to try a friendly fire, said somebody? Uh, I highly doubt it. I think there was an option with making the server. But I don't know if it was Thanks actually... Now. But it might have also been a... Oh yeah, you could turn this off and lose like a bunch of stuff. Because you turned it off. I mean, to be honest, I would keep friendly fire just because I would want to shoot people with the, with the tactical crossbow. I think friendly fire is a good mechanic. So, do I even want to? Do I want to buy this stupid thing? That depends. Do you yeah. have any psionic weapons? Well, I don't know what all these. I mean, it gives I, you no. something. It, it can reduce my recharge again. Like, okay, I might as it well. It gives you something. Weapons do one hundred percent psionic damage, but also deplete your psionic panic gauge. Oh, the panic gauge. Also, interesting. Do wait, psionic weapons do 100% more. Okay, okay. While well, panic, any of the weapons that deal psionic give it boost, and you gain plus three in psionic weapons. I. Yeah, that was pretty useless, but I'll take the plus three in case I get one. Okay. Ooh, heck yeah. Well, that means that if your, psion uh, your panic gauge is full, you become panicked and can still shoot. No, no, no. I just grabbed the plus three, so if I do pick up a psionic weapon, I'll just be able to. No, I'm just saying, like, that's just general knowledge. That is a thing that we've learned now. Okay. Just from the text of those. By the way, uh, string doors, is it stable now? Or have you guys been seeing any, like, stuttering? Or has it been actually rather Someone stable? Someone has nugs, I think. Or, oh no, I haven't put in my blueprint. I have to unlock my flamethrower. I like how it forces you to do it. Yeah. Because you're, because you, players are stupid and will forget. <laughs> I'm not calling you stupid, by the way. I could totally forget too. I almost did for a bit, actually. It took me a while to actually remember. Oh yeah, I should turn the blueprint. I forgot blueprints were a thing. No stutters for me. A couple. Okay, so it's been better. I've also reduced this the. Area was built with multiple containment barriers to serve so I've actually, I've, I'm actually a windowed mode, which hurts my ability to play a little bit. It's a little harder to aim to the edge of the screen now. Oh, it's the lobby again. Oh, so we're going to have the same experience yeah. possible. What's that yep. sound? Well, no, because we're going to win this time. VTuber yeah. Toon Cat, one, Toon Cat TV just joined. Just followed. Thanks for joining. You sound like you're a streamer. With a name like that. You yeah, it is the same level. The using the yellow be ready 
for what might come through. All right, so my attitude in this area is. Can I have that one? Oh, wait, wait, That's your attitude? That. Uh, let's see. Oh, what this is, is the... this is different. Wait, weapons that deal physical damage deal 100% more when your clip is full. Cool, the first of my 30 bullets is going to be more powerful. <laughs> okay. That would be very good for shotguns. It would be. It would be even better oh, with hey. a tactical crossbow. It's would that you like thing to, that you, uh, you, you just described. Uh, I'm going to choose Oxygen Generator. Any, any player within 5 meters... Oh! Regains 5, five HP every 10 yep. seconds. I just realized that'll tell me how 5 meters is. So if you're near me, you'll heal a little bit. Uh, FYI. I took, the, I took the max clip thing because I have a shotgun. Oh, cool. Alright, so... Uh, and I have the automatic reload thing. Oh, actually! I'm going to be at full clip, like, all the time, every time I kill something. Hold on a minute. Before you before you open the doors, I want to see something. I'd like to experiment with something. I need these enemies. These enemies. I need to... Here we go. This will work. Okay, one moment. You're not going to try and shoot. Okay. I see what you're trying to do. I want to see if it's possible. I want to see if I could get hit or they could get hit. Pull the lever, Nessler. No, 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 no. Is there an extra grenade here? Yes, there is. Right here. <laughs> Actually moves closer. All right. Um, let me throw the grenade as when it's about open. How's that sound? All right, let me know when. Okay. Essler. Oh. Essler. Wait. What? Why did you do that? I just let go. Of what? I wanted to not throw the grenade. I was aiming, and then I let go of the aim button, and it the right, threw right the grenade. Click, right click? Yeah. Oh, hey, you're giving me shit. All right, all right. Don't press the button. You, no, you, what did you do? <sighs> Could you wait till did I you got over to you? To me. I was moving like actually over to you. All right, we sit here until I'm healed. There is a med kit right over there. No, I'm saving those. Stop trying to walk into the grenade. I, there shouldn't have been one there. <laughs> Also, I agree, uh, they shouldn't have. Also, V2, V2 Platoon Cat says, I remember when you used to be Tremillion. Oh! Oh! You used to watch me on FA. Cool. Call me an admirer. Oh, well, thanks for coming by. Yeah, yeah. The old days. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's it's always neat when people um, talk about my Tremillion self. Because it has been a few years now since I've been Tremillion. Cool, I'm almost tilled. Hold on. My natural region will finish that off. Hold on. Hey, yeah, I'm good. Shoot you. I'm good. Okay. Let me know when. So, yeah, go ahead. I'm, I'm going to test something. I'm ready for the grenade, though. I got south. Is it east? Uh, either way, I got it. Wow, you're right. It does. It just throws it. I figured I'd check myself. Yes. Oh, the, the direction that I called has nothing coming from it. It will. Perfect timing on that. Okay. North is, uh, is mo- oh, ow. I'm fine. Oh, there's not actually a door open here, I think. They open one at a time. Actually, you know what? Fuck, I'm gonna go out here and fuck things up. Hello. Okay, yeah, we're on wave two of three now. Alright, I guess I'm going out to help him. Oh shit. Okay, more showed up when you said that. I'm so. not. Oh, hi. The enemy snuck in. Oh shit. I did oh. not finish reloading. This is why I saved the health, by the way. I picked up the key card. I will, I will rush north a bit. Just to get their attention. I will continue needing help. I am cut. I'm reducing the amount of attention on you by going north. At least I would think so. Yeah, I am. Just consider me solo. Don't worry about me. Just worry about yourself. Hey guys, are you watching her butt? 
She really hopes well, you are. Everything's fine. Honestly, don't okay, worry. Good to know. Literally, don't help me. Literally, do not. I'm fine. Well, there's nothing left over here. Oh, okay. I, I mean, think we. Fair, I was protecting Esther because they were pretty low on health. All right, Nether Cube, come on, big money. Uh, more HP. That you know that because. Stop like running us. from the healer. Or stab. No, I don't want. I do not want. I don't want my vaccine. Get, just get away from me. Hi, I have double HP now. I literally just healed. Oh, you can actually wait, stand near me and I'll heal you more. You also have double HP, I see. That's kind of a bit of a perk, actually. Woo! Now, let's see what Esler gets. Man, with all the watch my butt, this would be the perfect time for Doc's butt emote. Too bad Twitch removed it. Like a bunch of I got of the revive thing again. Also, uh, let's see. <laughs> what do they look like? I'm curious. What, my tribulate self? Hold on. I mean, we know the lobby is going to is going to seal itself, so we may as well grab the medkits there. Yeah, well, in a minute, yeah. Uh, group up. Group up. Group up. I'm pulling up. I'm not moving for group a second. Up. People ask the legitimate question, so hold on. I'm going to answer your question. Hold on. Do, 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 do. Just need to find it. I'm just gonna pull a random picture. Actually, let's see. Uh, that's a random picture. All right, here you go. Have random furry stuff midstream. Everyone together. I was just orange charmelia with a collar. Not pretty simple design, honestly. Nice. <laughs> you should see this. What should I see? Also, I disagree. Oh, I actually. Wait, you did that. You're no worthy. Did what? Oh, that's how you do that. Hey, come here. It's right. It's middle mouse button. Yeah. I'm just looking around, seeing where we where we can go if we live this. I need to remember this one. Do you guys see the ammo kits that are here? By the way. Yeah. Okay, those are ones I got dropped for me because I killed things. They'll yeah, be useful. Need Oh, uh, you're in right the, now. We are paying. That's going to be sealed off from us as the moment we activate this this button there. Yeah. You guys, if you guys want to top off an ammo, you do it in this room. I'm already topped off. Okay. But the ping on the top is the one that you want to use to point at barrels to say, "Hey, I'm going to shoot this." <laughs> What's that? Sorry. <laughs> no, no, I was reading chat. What's what did you say? That's uh, exactly the what someone who shoot the explosions, explosive barrels would say. What's this for? If you're gonna, if you're gonna shoot a barrel, I don't think any barrels are gonna drop. Doing the opposite. There's what? literally a barrel right, right where I'm looking. Where? Follow me. I would not define that as a barrel. Oh yeah, I did leave this one. Oh, you guys left oh, that yeah. one. That's dumb. You also left that one. I was never fighting to the south. <laughs> I, yeah, I was fighting north. Okay. That was your guys' side. I mean, we could have used that against the boss. Alright, I'm ready to fight this one person. Go ahead. Alright, where are we regrouping? I'm fighting to the southeast this time. Oh shit, bugs, right. Whoa, how did you spawn- Somebody spawned in before the door opened, what the actual fuck? They spawned next to me, and a zombie spawned next to me. Alright. 
I got the I got the door as soon as it opens. Remember dodge rolls are a thing. You say as I dodge roll. I was partially talking to myself on that one actually. Okay, there's an Eve. Oh, what the hell? Uh, what was that about? Uh, boss oh, boss is I, here. Oh, cool. Boss is here. I figured out what I'm Panic dead. does. Panic is kind of shit. We're both dead. Everyone's dead. Wait, how did we all get separated? I don't know. I was uh, where I was. We moved in different directions. I stayed where I was, but uh, I got panicked by the buggies. I didn't was pay attention to that meter. Okay, I think the buggies are kind of stupid, actually. Do they hurt you or do they just panic you? They panic you. That's dumb. Because why are they panicking me if they don't hurt me? That's why they're panicking you. But why don't the other creatures that are hurting me panic me? Or do oh, they... you don't have to worry about why aren't they hurting you. Because, oh, they are. <laughs> this is a normal interaction with an enemy. Right, Therefore, recently. I am okay. <laughs> I hit restart. Jeez, I... I... What I'm trying to figure out is, is this game even randomized? I'm going to assume yeah. it is. I is pointed it? out that it was. Because we just literally had the same experience twice. No, we didn't. That uh, lobby? As I pointed uh, out, in the lobby, it was facing the opposite direction. What was? The little uh, reception desk thing. Oh. The switch to open up the thing was on the other side. Oh, okay. So the maps aren't identical. So they're mirrored sometimes. That's... Presumably, they're not just mirrored. It didn't... Felt like we went through the same experience. It's clearly the death. <laughs> no, it was just very similar. Just hope it could actually change it up next time. Oh, I guess... Dying over and over again in a roguelike. My point is this: dying over and over again in a roguelike is a little more palatable if you at least have a different experience each time. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get so many clips from this review alone. Clips? On Twitch. Ah, oh, you think like that people are gonna clip this? Congratulations. Let's see if that's yeah, I can imagine, Let's I see can imagine that there's already two or three. Let's see if that's actually a true statement. For oh, whoops. Reason. There it is. Now then, let's begin the operation. Oh, for fuck's sake, get out of here. There is one clip. Oh, that's disappointing. Okay. Yeah, I had a feeling that nobody was clipping. You know why I knew? Uh, or at least why I figured. Audience doesn't seem super engaged. We have a decent number of viewers, but I don't think people seem that super engaged. So I figured there's probably not very many clips. I noticed that clips are more made to more be often. Fair, we haven't done very much. We really haven't. That's another reason I figured there was. The stream has been like ones. half setting up options. Oh, you guys are just okay. That's fair enough. Both shotguns, all right. You can never go wrong with shotguns. Yes, you can. Ain't no party like a shotgun party. Oh, they were not there last time. Doors open. <laughs> I guess. Can we even go up here? Yes, we can. Don't waste actual ammo on <laughs> gun barrels. Because you can just switch to your pistol to shoot them. Reloading. I suppose. Reloading. Ammo is not my concern, it's dying. Minigun. Gimme. We came and that too early to really buy it, though. Plus 15% more credits. 5, uh, 5 HP every 4 seconds, I'll take it. 
Guess I need to actually shoot things today. Hard body didn't yeah. really help me out too much, unfortunately. Uh, yeah, sure. Damage is always my first option. Also, Aqua said, game bad, no fits to you, Charm. I mean, I don't think game is bad, per se, but it left a bad impression with me. I do want this minigun. Do you have the money for it? Careful, Not yet. Some cuties respond to sound. It, game's not bad, but yeah, I... I oh, that's gonna close behind us when we cross it. Wait! Can I lure them over? Hold on. Yeah, explicitly. That's what we're being taught here. Sorry? Hold on, there's more to pull. Oh, so I can buy it now. I see a schematic. I had a plan there. There is indeed one, yes. Okay, we should definitely pull back. Esser? Esser? No. I need money. Don't shoot me. I thought so. Oh, wait, no? Okay. Okay, it's gotta wind up, that's fair. Okay, this is much better with hip fire. It's not entertaining. You don't think it's entertaining? That's fair. That's a... Ah. I see. Oh, you went back and bought the minigun. I, I said I was going to. Yoink. I'll just go back and grab the Also, oh, there are enemies. There are enemies literally stuck here. Good game design. Oh, you. I see what this is. Okay. Watch my back. <laughs> okay. But of course, the problem with the minigun is you gotta wind it up. Oh, we have to do this one again. Behind us. Ooh. Where? Not for Give long, the really. Enemies. I want them. I still hear enemies. Where are they? This has a decent amount of clip. I mean, I can chew right through it, obviously, but... Are we coming back here? Because there's ammo here. Uh, yeah, after we're done with this I'm area leaving. right I'm here. So, I'm still leaving then. Play more. Sure. I don't know how they work, but. Uh, Claymore would actually be useful here. You want to set it up um, somewhere? I have to agree. Do I just throw it on the ground? I like guess in I can the door. Yeah, you don't throw it, you just right place here. it. Okay, then uh, move. Or, did travel. they come from here? Probably. Well, Hopefully if not, well, you great. can't. If not, don't back up. I guess. Somebody look at me. Ooh, sawed-off shotgun. Why? Why am I looking at you? Money. Oh, yeah, you guys take that. So I can open the thing. Uh, oh. Who wants it? I don't use it, so go ahead. I'll deal with the guys up high. I'll deal with these. Oh, they didn't. I'll be with groups. Unless they get on top of us. Oh shit, sorry. Uh, I'll play more blown up. Suddenly dead. Is a clear Oh, I, I just realized there's one you problem. Shoot the big guy, Charm. Sure. I have done it. I am so sorry. I did not mean to shoot you. Wait, who? Wait, you shot him to death? Is that what you? Was that what that happened? That was accidental. I shot him with a shotgun. Well, <laughs> see, that was my first. I admit, I wasn't trying to be rude in saying this. Oh, there's that was. Oh, all right. I wasn't trying. I wasn't trying to have rude thoughts, but my first thoughts when you guys both came in with shotguns. Remember how I pointed out you guys both had shotguns at the beginning? My first thought was, so who's gonna get shot in the back at point blank range and die? Like that was my first thought. <laughs> Me. <laughs> uh, ammo there, I don't yeah, know. I, I got charged by the, the charger dude, so he tried to shoot at the charger dude. I mean, that's fair. The one that was on top of me. 
Oh, I guess I could use another grenade. What's this one? I don't care about flash. Well, flashbangs are still nice, but yeah, this one probably hurts things. It's a, it says bomb in the name. I don't know what the hell it is. <laughs> this game's all right, but yeah, I don't know. Like, well, obviously, I, I do admit one thing. If a game starts by showing me it's an Unreal or Unity game where the developer did not bother to optimize, that immediately leaves a bad taste in my mouth. I'm not sure if that's unfair of me to feel that way. Do you guys think it's unfair that I feel Maybe that way? Maybe a little bit. Maybe a little bit. These safe rooms are built throughout the facility for use in exactly this sort of scenario. I'm going to buy this this time. If you're Let's suffering see. from any yeah. long-term injuries, you can use I'm the medical this one. equipment to recover. As a reminder, all assets acquired during your mission are the exclusive intellectual property of S2P. I'm thinking about getting the crossbow Please submit again. Please all data nugs and blueprints at the appropriate terminals. Hmm. It's nothing but HP upgrades. I have to decide. 50% more HP or recovering 8, 5 HP every 4 seconds. Actually, 4 seconds is fairly fast. That's not too bad. I think I'll do that. Yoink. What do we have here? A submachine gun and... Okay. Yeah, I think I, I think I do have a bit of a vendetta against games with this issue. It's only because, like, um... For Halloween for an Hour, I've covered, like... At this point, I think I've covered over 800 games. And, unfortunately, the Unreal Unity issue comes up a fair often. Mostly Unreal. Unity I have less problems with. But the Unreal issue has come up in so many different indie games now over the course of Haller for an Hour. But at this point, when it shows up, I'm just like, oh, another developer doing that. You know, like, that's just how I feel about it at this point, when it comes up. Because I've just seen it so much. Um... Uh, but you have to think, these developers haven't made like a hundred games. Right, it's not like their you, fault. All the other, the all the other games is not their fault. It's their game is their fault, and that's it. It's it's this is not the worst example either. I've seen far worse. Um, it's just I honestly, I'm most mad at Unreal itself. I'm most mad at Epic Games and the way they designed their engine. Um, I've gone over it a million times, so I won't repeat myself for long. But in short. New project for a new developer will have all the all the settings turned on, all the settings, all the graphical options turned on. Because Unreal is defaultedly just turns all that shit on by default. All the motion blur, all the fog, all this, all that, all that. Because Epic Games doesn't have the uh, fucking balls to allow a developer to make a shitty looking game. They want a, a, an amateur developer's game to look as good as possible to make their engine look good. It's stupid. It is absolutely stupid. Because you, the last thing you want an amateur dev having is a high performance game by default. Because that that could possibly nuke people's computers. That's and that wouldn't even really be the dev's fault. It's just that's more Unreal Engine's fault. Um, but yeah. See, so yeah, I'm not really I heard bad you had at the problem with me having a shotgun. So now I have two shotguns. I'm debating the submachine gun. Is it better than the assault rifle? I haven't decided. It has more clip size though. Actually, fuck it. I'll buy it. The thing that I if really you... It would really be nice to know the max ammo on these guns before you buy them. That's something that bugs me. So that is like, way, yeah, so it's like 198 45 or 160 or 132 30. So yeah, it's like way more overall. I guess if they have a larger clip size, you could assume they also have a larger max ammo. That is one way you can do it. Yeah, I do apologize if I bitch too much, guys. I, uh, I just know devs could do better, you know? It's fine. <laughs> All right, data nugs drop more often. I'm gonna I'm gonna get in that perpetual loop where I'm just constantly buying the data nugs upgrade, so I don't actually buy the actual useful upgrades. But hey, I'm getting more data nugs. I feel like we're gonna be grinding this first area yeah. very often. Yeah. I feel like the beginning of the game will be a case of grinding, getting data nugs, and upgrade ourselves until we're strong enough to actually beat it. That kind of feels like how this game's gonna work. You're allowed to vent. Yeah. Esler is correct, though. I oh. think I... What? Uh, there was a helpful tooltip telling what panic does. But it went away faster than I can read it. Uh, I never read those loading tips. It's definitely too fast. And, yeah. Okay. Gun guys. <laughs> Apparently I can't hit I have none range. Uh-oh. <laughs> 
Resilience Please actually immediately like, shoot you. I swear to God, this crossbow is stupidly powerful. It's stupid. Okay, that was a surprisingly it's effective strategy. Powerful. It's one oh, ten per powerful. shot. I thought you said it was stupid. I'm like, okay, I guess it sucks then. <laughs> well, it is stupid. Just good stupid. Oh, it, wow. Why this the enemies the... burn five seconds longer? Wait. Did Oxygen Generator heal me too? It did, right? Oh. I think? I have five HP regen every four seconds and five HP regen for everyone every five seconds. That's actually nuts. Do you see my point? Good. Those stack. Yeah, I'm feeling more. You're the healer often. now. So one Again. of those helps you guys, and one of them one of them helps only me, but both of them help me too. So that is actually oh, see? a combination. The console is on the right side this time. This is this doesn't Last count time as it was on the left. Esler, this is a very charitable thing to say is Oh look, the level's different. They move things. I mean slightly. also the first phase we had a defense segment the first time and this time, but not last time. Uh, fair, I guess. I'm gonna focus on north. <laughs> I, have a mini I think this, this is just like a boss thing. I'm gonna also focus on north because that's where enemies come from, and I'm... I need to stand where enemies come from. Uh, right, sure. Be mindful of the minigun, though. <laughs> yeah, it melts. Give you some breath. Right, I'll be careful to right. roll if I need to go past it. Okay. I also don't rotate very fast, so I could appreciate help if something gets behind me. Because I actually look out. Uh, look, I have is... a shotgun. This is the speed I rotate, just to show you. When the minigun is revved up, it, I can't turn Yee. very fast, so... Alright, I'm ready when you are. Go ahead, Hayden. I is actually be... got a little dizzy from that. Is he gonna be fight on his own, though? Oh, you guys all... Okay, sure, we can all stick together. You I can mean, handle back. I mean, this is where enemies come from. Me as well. I'm gonna pop out a bit, so give myself a better range, by the way. Reloading. And I'm, I'm gonna, gonna immediately blow up... Esler, there's a barrel right next to you. I'm gonna blow it up immediately. Okay. I'll get on the other side. Oh, they're coming from this side. Yeah. We're on the wrong side. Well, for now I mean, we this are. This works for us. I'm just gonna burst fire so I don't necessarily melt you guys. I'm trying not to shoot you. <laughs> I was trying not to. If I see big guys, the burst fire's off at that point. Oh, the woman you just went down. Okay, I'm gonna. All right, I'm gonna shoot the thing over here. Yeah, that got their attention. Nice. Esler, are you good? Yeah. All right. They won't really waste ammo. I'm reloading. Right. If you need help, self, just tell me. No, we're good. Yeah. I do like the minigun. I, I can be very confident in killing things. Uh oh. Except for what I really I'm delaying them for you. That is a very good thing about the shotgun. If I just spray it at a group, they stop. Alright. Now let's kill everybody else in the room. There's probably more. Yep. I'll cover this out. Uh, I love Ooh, cover from the south. Thing. Thank you. Yeah, I didn't see anything there. Ah, uh, shit. No, it's okay. I'll just handle things over here myself. It's fine. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm here too. I have resilience. It's fine. So do I. Okay, I got that guy. You gave me $69. Nice. I think there's no more enemies. Okay, let's go open the box. Ah, Be right. sure to top off your ammo, yeah? Oh, May I heal, up, please? Upon killing a target, you have a 25% chance to gain 5 max HP. Wait, 5 max HP? Ho! Oh! I'll come to you. 
All right. Oh, heck yeah. So basically, it's like hard body. It's like hard body too, but I earn it. That's that's not too bad though. Especially because you certainly can probably stack it. You're trying to, dude. Mm -hmm. I heal automatically. I'm fine. You didn't need to heal me, probably. Um, should these go away? Oh. Use your pings. I swear to God, if you blow that up when I'm next to it. Oh, well, we're both next to it. It's almost like I'm trying to teach you guys not to just idle next to explosive barrels or something. We're not idling. We're you, walking you literally, towards you. Well, that's just idling, but we're faster. following the same path you did. <laughs> All right, oh, gonna... you should have shot that. Go ahead. I'm just gonna reload. But honestly, here. if you go walk directly next to a barrel, immediately, like as you are telling us off for walking next to barrels, <laughs> you deserve it if you shoot that thing. Fair enough, if that's the case. But that's, of course, if you actually hit me with it, uh, uh, let's. So this room closes off when you uh, hit that lever, right? It does. So what if I'm yeah. in it when you do that? You explode. Dude. One way to find. Oh, I have a key oh. card. How about this? You both go in there, and I'll just throw the switch. No, just one person should test it. No thanks. Uh, and I'm Does gonna it... get ready to put down a decoy. Okay, the do, I just, do I try and throw it? Actually, it's weird. I'm not gonna mess around with do this. It. I'm ready where you are. I'm gonna do it. find the big guy Throwing that spawns. It in three, two, one. I'm just gonna immediately try to find the big guy and murder him. Yeah, same. I'm gonna find the big guy and throw a decoy. He's, he's to the north. He's to the north. I'll, I'll deal with him. There's also a guy right there. Kill him. Kill him, good dude. There you go. I'm holding a grenade. Oh, well, that's not really fortunate. Oh, come on. He pulled me. He does that. Yeah, he does that. Oh shit, I gotta reload. I gotta reload! Oh. Okay. Oh, I couldn't move. Oh, hi. He's dead. He is. And I'm also feared because that's a great effect. I fucking love that effect. It's a great effect. Can I fight? Oh shit, sorry, hated sorry. No, you can't. That was entirely my fault and I, I am sorry about that. Ah, We got AoE'd. I hate the boss! The the fear effect is fucking stupid. It also lasts forever. Does it wear off, or do I have to do something? At least I'm not the York cannon. The zoom in. By the way, the fear effect is 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 a great way for me to murder you guys because it zooms me in. So I so don't know fear, where the fuck panic. I'm shooting. Whatever. <laughs> it's being a wuss, regardless. <laughs> All right, I'll restart. I think I can go one more round. What do you guys think? Yeah, sure. I think we're getting the hang of this. This can be accepted. Game. Cause like, it really feels like one of those roll likes where you're just not gonna have a good time until you grind some upgrades and then you'll have a good time. Oh, I can start with a submachine gun now. Actually, that's probably good. I even noticed I can start that. Ooh, sure. I have a flamethrower now. Wait, what hold on a minute. This? Oh, that's just okay. It's, it's fine. Yo, oh, hi. Got a flamethrower? Yeah. So that seems fun. don't walk in front of me. I love this gun already. Don't say that until you test the damage. Never I, assume I'm, the flashy gun is a good gun. <laughs> I'm confident with its DPS. <laughs> Are you confident with its clip size? It's 75, what do you mean? I don't know, how fast does that sort of thing drain? No. I can't tell. How fast is 75? The Amsterdam incident I keep hearing about. How about, how about we find out during this run? Don't count your chickens. Right, I need to change something. There we go. I can activate my special with mouse two now. And it never will. Oh, I I rotate slowly when it's charging. It's like the minigun. 
By the way, if you're wondering why I'm not pressing the console, that's a good question. Oh, there's a there's a door here. Wait, is there? Oh. I guess that's why I'm not pressing the console. Yeah, I can Oh, it. okay. You need a key card to open this. Is that what you just picked up? Sir, yeah. Yep, looks like it. Huh. And I already oh, see a revolver. There's, there's just free stuff here. Uh okay, um, whatever. We got another cube. There's also a crossbow if you want it. Take the cube. How do we wait, how do I get out of this? Or um let's see. I, I now heal more if I'm in the dark. We're all now faster. Any allies within seven meters gain ten percent of its speed. There's a tactical crossbow here. If I'm moving, you guys can move too. I got more movement speed, that, which actually is not too bad. I guess I'll take the crossbow. I suppose. It's pretty good for single enemies. It's better than a handgun. Would you like to try the revolver if you don't like it? I haven't even shot it, so I don't know. Eh, it's not too bad. It'd be useful against bosses. And stronger enemies, yeah. I really want to see how this thing works. How does it work? I am not a fan of the flame. It give, it a, give it a charges and is slow to turn. It's probably as good as the minigun or something, something, something comparable. Uh, one benefit to that gun and the the, the flamethrower is that it's very clear where our uh, where our weapons are. Don't you love that overhang and how it blocked that enemy from being visible? Yeah, I honestly didn't see that enemy. What enemy? I literally just explained how uh, good it is that my that our weapons are very visible about where you should not be standing, and then you walk directly into my flamethrower. I did. No, no, no me. hated. Yeah, I, you know okay, the crossbow this is also a slow turner. The crossbow has a secret benefit. Stop shooting directly at me. I was shooting the enemy, what do you want me to do with this gun? The crossbow has a secret benefit I didn't realize until just now. It knocks things what? back, so they can't get to me while I reload. Wait, wait, back pretty... up, back up. Ta! Esther got Ow. attacked by that. <laughs> you got any fucking kidding me? Um, oh, another flamethrower. Again. Nice. By the way, it's not that great. If, if you see a body, investigate it. FYI. Huh. Why? Because sometimes they have key cards. And stuff. 30% weapon damage from both equipped weapons are from the same department. More money. What the hell is an apartment? Is that psionics or physical? Uh, color. Okay. Then that's worth just grabbing. Because I don't care about psionics. <laughs> Wait, these are not the I same- Oh, this. but these aren't the same category. Tactical crossbow is yellow. What's flamethrower? Flamethrower is green. Yeah, oh, fuck! This is useless to me. Purple. So actually, there's a lot of there's a lot of departments. It's not useless to you. But I none of these it's weapons match. useless to you. None of these weapons match. You can fix that. If, if I get lucky, or you drop me something that gives me here. Uh, what, what color do you need? Color of your other gun? I guess yellow or red. The revolver I have is green. red. I can if I can get one kill, I can give you this revolver and I get the and I get the flame for it. Okay, I'll just walk over here and kill something. I'll take the revolver, sure. Oh, I do not like how that camera moves. I don't like that you can't Oh, uh moving around. The damage on that isn't great. Is it? It's doing psionic damage. It's one of those like purple bar. It's one of those uh, weapons where it's constantly on the enemy because it homes them. And it's like zappy zap, but it takes a while to kill. Reloading. Oh, I wasn't sure where we were going for a second there, because oh, the just... the camera movement just completely 
destroyed my conception of where I am in the world. Okay, that seems pretty good, the revolver, yeah. Do you want the crossbow, or do you want the flamethrower? Why not both? Ah, it loads like that, okay. Wait, can't obtain ammo full- I had to reload my weapon, but I ha apparently still have full ammo. That's weird. Uh, yeah, I'm referring to- Listen, Sorry. I wouldn't hate these guys. Except for, remember when I threw the grenade and they didn't die? Yeah, I wouldn't mind mm -hmm. these guys if I could kill them. I don't know why they're just randomly invincible, especially if they negatively affect me. Oh, those things were on the... The exoskeleton thing. The what? Oh, yeah, I guess they take over things. Still, though, like, why can't I kill them? If they are a threat to me, why can't I- Wait, 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 wait. Has anybody tried to stay next to them in melee? I don't think we can kill them, period. I'm just- I'm just trying They're to last- too short. That is such a lame excuse and you know it. Also, the grenade wasn't too- Look, look, oh. Hi. Apparently. Hi. Wait! I think that- I think the purple things jumped on that. Zombie, they were like- they were affected. So, but yeah, like, why can't we, though? No, go over there. I'm trying to core them so I can properly melee. Come here. Actually, you, you know what? we're just playing with a barrier. No, 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 I'm gonna check something. I'm- I'm allowing them to get me. I would like to see something. Would you like me to speed things along? Once they do panic damage, you start taking actual damage from them. No, I wanted to experiment with pan- Oh wow, panic really fucks up your aim. No wonder I was messing up before. Well, yeah, no, you're I, panicking. I wanted to see how long it took. Okay, that long. Alright. Yeah, I really hate the panic mechanic because I don't like the enemies associated with <laughs> it. They're not killable, so it just feels kind of cheap, you know? Wait, back up, back up. I'm not making the same mistake again. Yes, you are. You, are. you have to shoot around it. There you go. Oh, reloading. oh they're already dead. Yeah, I don't like the camera swings either. I, I, I don't know. I feel like Alien Storm either always had a perfectly aligned camera for the level or it let you rotate. I can't remember. Get back to 610. Right, I guess we're going. Fox, why'd your uh, score change? What? Oh, that's lame. I just learned something stupid. So I was trying to shoot him through the grate, but if you stand too close, you're not allowed to shoot. So I had to get close to shoot him, but not too close. Hmm. Guess I'll top off. I don't think we're coming back through here. Any grenades that we can throw? Yeah, right there. Grenade. There we go. Any other grenades we can throw? Uh, yes, sir. Um. Well. Sup. You guys good? Yeah, everything's fine. Next time, a little warning would be nice before you throw the grenade. Is I that, didn't think you just jumped down. Oh shit, That's I can fall the off there? That's enemies are. Apparently I can fall off yeah, there, I had no idea. Yeah, down. Alright. Fair enough, I guess. I'm gonna throw a grenade. I don't know what at yet, I'm gonna figure that out in a minute. Probably those guys. Got that. Did you like my trick shot? They were in my face, but I I trick shot it. Because <laughs> I was like, I still want to throw it though. This game is slightly above okay. Yeah, it's. Here's the thing about Alien Swarm. It was a blast, but to make a good Alien Swarm game, you kind of need to, like. have a hook. I'm surprised how long it takes a flay throw to blow that up. Alright, uh. Oh, assault rifle! Same. Do I like the revolver? By the way, there is actually a significant... Oh, range. Okay, that says right there. There is a problem with the submachine gun. Its range is shit. <laughs> Reloading. That'll come in handy. 
So sure, I'll buy that. You guys can have the revolver back if you want. It's still a red weapon. You can take it if you want, I swear. This is a submachine gun. I'm being honest and fair. No, I kind of agree. It kind of feels... It's it's fun enough to play with friends. But there's nothing really amazing about it. I probably shouldn't have grabbed that actually yet. I got our six. I got our nine. I got my butt, apparently. Seriously, my character talks more about her butt than anything else. I don't know if you guys... Oh, hello, Charger. Fair. You know, I could have dodged that, but I really thought he would stop charging before he got to me. I thought I'd be like, oh, well, he's gotten very far. I bet he'll stop in front of me and then I'll touch him. No, that didn't work out. Hey, hey, you're the only one. Yeah, no, we're, no, we're no, kind no. of dying over here. No, you, you have your back to a Charger. Yeah, that's... Get ready to roll. He one shots, by the way. You may have noticed. Roll. Okay, never mind. I guess he missed. I guess he missed. Just if he starts moving, just immediately roll reflexively. Okay, that's a good use of that ability. Ooh. Ooh. I, I personally think that weapon isn't very good. It's got a clip of 113 now, so I'm I'm happy. It just takes forever to do anything, though. What's this? Oh, level two shotgun. Level two shotgun blueprint. Okay. Tactical crossbow blueprint for me. No, you can have it forever. Yeah. And it doesn't really matter that we're all like super dead. Because we're at the end. Yeah, it literally doesn't matter. Oh. Reloading. I would love to replace this flamethrower with anything. Check Where are you something. going? Just checking something. I, I think the flamethrower is okay, actually. Flamethrower does better damage than your yeah. Tesla rifle thing, I think. The arc cannon? <laughs> huh. Do I want an arc cannon Ooh. or an arc cannon? Give me that. Oh, no. I've learned my lesson with that one. Yeah, your damage just isn't punchy enough. It doesn't. I don't think it's very good. No, it works. It works. Well, at least I've upgraded the pop action shotgun. I maybe I'll try that out next time. Uh. All right, I got level one hidden cash. Hmm. I'm just gonna take hard body. Yoink! Everybody, cut these chemicals. Yeah, let's just open this and heal off this. Oh, that wasn't quite a full hill. Dang. Hmm. You're actually going to take the... Well, hold on, let me see. Could have two flamethrowers. Ten and five. Five and five. Oh, it actually does more damage than I thought. It just didn't feel like it did. Huh. The flamethrower looked like it was doing more damage than the arc cannon. Maybe it's just enemy resistance. Yeah, no, it really does. Huh. But it, it doesn't damage their health at first, but it does damage their purple bar. After that purple bar is gone, that's when the damage comes in. Oh, out. it's an investment sort of thing. Yeah. Could I have, like, one you little top-off heal? Up per could, enemy could I have, one, like, a heal? Just really... Just you one. can now. Thank you. It's off cooldown. I wasn't sure if it was. Uh... Damn it, Nugs. These hidden nah. cash upgrades, I'm just gonna keep buying it until I can't buy it anymore. Because that's how I work with these sort of things. Submachine gun unlocked. So I'm just, like, not gonna be buying upgrades for a while, but eventually then I can just buy all the upgrades. I'm, I'm pretty comfortable with this run, actually. I feel like I'm weak on this run. The minigun was beneficial, Same. but... I am terribly weak. Also, I think you're... Well, here's the thing. That's why your weapon's weak. You have to drain a bar before you do damage. The flamethrower yeah. doesn't have that problem. So effectively, I'd this say... The flamethrower does half the damage of your Tesla rifle. But your Tesla rifle has to drain another bar before it does damage. Eh, ergo, it just means that enemies have a little bit more health if you er, use that weapon. Er, well, Ergo Essler, it's like literally the same damage as the flamethrower, though. Because he's got a damage... He's got to do double though. damage. It's not like, look how fast those bars drain. Oh, they do drain fairly fast, actually. Like, it's almost instant. 
Alright. Or arc to me for some reason. Alright. Oh, I can't even open that right now. Alright. Yeah, with these bullets, I just do not care about their style of damage. Be. Well, maybe it is useful. I don't know. It's just kind of a weird one. All right, let's see. Plus twenty-five damage with tactical gear. Well, that's Ooh, no ten HP every four seconds. I Get guess I have extra stamina. I guess I re whatever my that. Does. I guess my special ability. Honestly, when I'm in a tough spot, is when I should pop my special ability. I just again, I just don't remember. Okay, well. Are we ready? Ready yeah, you are. I guess I'll take south this time. I'll take north. I'll take whichever side opens. Ah, oh, dang, I threw it too early. Oh, hello. Watch my butt! Watch my butt! Wait, I'm going really much slower. Maybe this I is. should switch with one of you guys because you're getting more action. Yeah, this is the side that enemies come from. It always starts on this side. Also, you can pick no. up multiple grenades. Did you know this? It starts on one side or the other. Did you know you can pick up multiple grenades? Yes. I didn't know that until what? just now. Yes, at the same time, you can pick up multiple. I have two right now. Oh, if they're the same four. grenade? Yes, if they're the same grenade, you can pick up multiple. That multiple. is good to know. That's I never I, tried. I thought it was... I didn't try either. I thought you could sell one, but... That's why so many drop, I guess. I actually rather like the revolver. So each of us should be specializing in one grenade type. I guess yes. so, yeah. I'll take the normal because I prefer them. Me... Well, if I ever find another grenade, I'll drop mine. The grenade out! <laughs> Maybe not so close to us, yeah. yeah it, it also helps if you show us where the grenade is. Well, the grenade bounced off the enemy, to be fair. I actually did throw it far enough, but it hit an enemy. Oh, fuck off, I need help. My right, god, the arc cannon is stupidly strong. I'm able to just eat these up. I mean, the, like the rate of this gun goes Save down okay. so slowly. I swear, stop saying "watch my butt." I know, right? It's like actually. No oh, whoops! I didn't even throw that. Oh well. Just actually, I do hate that once you start throwing a grenade, you're just committed. This thing is really slow. Oh, yeah, hi. that guy. I got his attention. A key card up here. Oh! There's a restricted area over here. Ah, oh, okay, we'll get that in a second. Uh, I have a psychogen bomb. We were stuck. We were literally stuck here. on each other, by the way. Okay, well, that, that one it'll do then. Ooh, give me the HP. Now I'm a literal walking tank. Here, HP. No, no, the problem is she has one voice line, guys. For, hey, I'm reloading. And they didn't bother to record any others for her. <laughs> now, again, early access, oh, so I, I guess that can be excused. It. I guess early access, so. Burning enemies burn. It can be slightly excused because of the early access, but it's even so, it's kind of annoying. I, you know what else is annoying? If you approach a restricted area door, but then you walk really close to it, watch what happens. Like, walk all the way up to a restricted area door. You see the problem? Yep. Uh, who no. has a key? I do. If you walk all the way up, you lose the prompt. You have to back up to open it. <laughs> hmm. Alright. What the hell? Okay, what's with the weird thing? This is a dangerous area, I think. Or something. Oh, oh, okay, uh, we moved into it. I guess we're committing. Yeah, I mean, we're here now. This is where we are. Reloading. 
Well, not that dangerous, but it is kind of a weird. Oh no, no it's dangerous! It's dangerous. Out of the way, <laughs> there. I am the choke point. I, I literally killed that. I got some damage before I died. That was my fault. But to be fair, oh, there's gun guys, and they can shoot around the wall. Or can they? Yes. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Yes, they can. Was that you? Yeah. Oh god! Well, at least they hurt the enemy. <laughs> Did you please not? Uh, so, since we shot over the walls, I was like, well, I'll just throw a grenade over the walls. No, apparently not. Okay, apparently I that's not allowed. Now. Apparently that's just not allowed. Alright, what do I got? Well, I got more sign of damage, so big one for me. Oxygen generator. I also have oxygen. I also have lone shooter now. It's early access, yes. But my un my complaints about the Unreal Engine I don't really factor into that because here's the thing: the game is already built incorrectly with the Unreal Engine a little bit. So, oh good, we brought some of them out here. So there's more of those. <laughs> uh, it seems yeah. like they're a threat. Basically, early access, I can excuse a lot of things, but the core framework of the game is not something I can excuse when it comes to early access, because that's something they already decided on, you know? Um. Hmm. Oh, right, we have to open up the switch. Yep. So, where should we die today in the room? I mean, uh, we can somewhere go back to nearby the each other, because, like, two of us have heals. Actually, what I think we can do is, if this door is to the restricted area is still open, we can run in and use it as a choke point. Actually, why does one person stay in the restricted area? True. One person stay. I'm gonna stay in the lobby. Somebody goes in the restricted area. Last How about we don't split up? Because every time we split up, we die. No, this is an experiment. I'm gonna go here. You're gonna go to the restricted area, and somebody else is gonna activate the terrible. Bullet. I want to see All what right, works. I guess I'm flipping the switch. All right. All right. The when. When Essler's in the room. Alright, I'm in the restricted area. Okay. Let's see what happens. Flipping the switch in three, two, one. Okay. Well, I'm getting attacked over here, but... Okay, yeah, that's fine. You, you just got sealed in. Good luck. Well, I'm not dead. Oh, so, uh, I'm, I'm getting attacked by a bunch of little dudes. Okay, Essler, just uh, stay in this corner. We should be fine. Can you enter and exit that room freely? We can. Then use this as a choke point. If needed. What about me, though? Uh, it's not a good choke point because the other side of that door is full of boss, 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 boss. Um, FYI, I can heal you if you stand next to me, so I'll just stand here. Same. I assume it's the force field probably doesn't oh. stop it. Wow, why is he almost dead? Was that your Tesla gun? That was fast. It took me a while to lay in him. Oh! Oh! I can get their attention! Yes! Oh, shit, sir. You just killed oh, shit. me. Oh, God, a gun guy. Uh, this is not ideal. Alright, fine. Hell yeah! Fucking. Whatever this ability does, I'm gonna use it. I will Fuck. be super dead soon. I'm working on it. I don't know what you're working on, but I'm gonna go over here. Oh fuck, no, the guns. Okay, no, no, no. Okay, spastic gun person, go away. Sorry if that's words offensive to some people. It's not offensive in America's. Generally. Why, how many fucking enemies are. Okay, fine. I got this. I got this. All things considered, this went a lot better. I don't know. Your Tesla gun like melted. No, we're not dead. dead. You can hold that statement until I'm not. Until I'm sure I'm not dead. Fucking go! Fucking die! I cut. Okay, he keeps moving. <laughs> Just getting annoyed that guy. He's just shooting that. him. Yeah, he was dodging. Like I said. Here comes the green gun. All right. I just like ran around a lot and they kept me alive. 
Yep. Oh, the revolver. I didn't see what it hard. was. Okay. We got it's... a claymore here. Oh, um, a claymore, yeah. Alright, grenades. It. Does nobody want it? Okay. No. Alright. Well, we did it. What? Okay, seriously, how did the boss die so fast that time? I was actually a little the confused. Cannon. Was uh, it... We were all standing next I... to it shooting it. The arc cannon's a psionic weapon, right? But I laid into the thing with physical weapons, and it took forever to murder. So maybe psionic does more damage to it. Because you killed it really fast. Did you drain a bar on it? Maybe that bar was like a huge defense spot for it. And when you drained it, it just kind of died. Yeah, it just absolutely melts. That is also possible. That it panicking just made it take more damage. Does that, wait, does the enemy actually... doing a lot of damage with the, wait, the crossbow, does that dra Does drain the bar actually make the enemy panic? And they actually, like, lose their ability to attack as well or something? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. It has like a well, stun. Well, we're gonna have an arc cannon or an arc cannon today. Well, stunning them would make sense why they take more damage, so I guess that no, is... This is a psionic fun. upgrade. Okay. You well, know we beat the fine. level. Reloading. I have an arc cannon now. I mean, I could too, but I'd lose some damage potential, but maybe it's worth it. I don't know. Okay, I guess I so. Would, why not? I would say get it if you have the if you have the right perks for it. Like, I have the perk that increases psionic damage. I have no perks for psionic. Would you like more psionic perks? Should I be buying this nether cube? Okay, I guess not. No, the person who's investing heavily in psionic should do, take the psionic at, uh, nether cube. Well, I just got an extra forty percent damage to silent with psionic weapons. Oh, I unlocked sniper rifle. Ah. Um. Yeah, thirty percent weapon damage with multiple equipped weapons are from the same department. I'd be losing a thirty percent damage if I grab the arc cannon. Is it worth it? Is it that good? Without perks, that is. For it? Without perks, it it is hit or miss, but it does stun enemies and it does. Deplete uh, uh, very slowly. Hmm. Maybe I should. Then again, I bet there's physical. Best physical weapons do more damage with some, some things too, though. So I should probably. I'll just save what I got. I'm I'm double arc canning this shit. Let's go. <laughs> Why? Why not? It's a very good gun. Did you buy the other one? Okay, fair enough. No, I, I bought the other one at the first uh, checkpoint. Oh. Oh right, I completely forgot about a thing that I got at the very start. Don't look at me when I'm healing you. Why? Why? I do more healing okay, when I'm in the dark. There's an emergency Looks here. VIP corridor in one of the offices nearby. But... Hmm. Hmm. This oh! Upon killing a target, weapons that deal physical damage receive a 3% boost, caps at 100%. Resets upon being downed. Okay. Hmm. So I can increase my damage by 100% if I don't die. Got it. Reloading. I don't trust that. I don't trust weirdly glowing phone. It just uh, attracts dudes, I think. Welcome to tech support. How can we help you? What? Oh, fuck. This guy is... You can help by not shooting me. You... you, you... <laughs> I don't no, know what- I was it's... moving left to try to get out of your way while you were approaching me, and you just kept going left. And I just was like, what am I doing? <laughs> like, what do I do in this situation if you want to stand in front of Not me? Not start holding left click. No, I was trying to move out of your way, but you just kept moving in my way, so I just started shooting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't want you in my way, and you would just not get out of my way, so I shot. <laughs> I was legitimately trying to not, that would not have you in my way. Court. All right, I'm going to stand in front of this horde. Like this terminal has uh, security measures, specifically. Because I, I kind of need to um, Theoretically, kill as many things as possible really fast. Around somewhere nearby. Watch out! What happens if I throw this switch? Uh -huh. Who knows? Go ahead. 
pull it. It, it needs something. I, I don't think we have it. Oh, we need to find the, the zombie dude. That's what the lady was talking uh, about. Charger, charger, charger! He's gonna charge and murder people, just let you know. No, he's not. We do not care. He's gonna be too dead. Alright, that works. I found yeah. a card. You found a key card. Oh, I found something too. Hello? <gasps> oh, shit. Okay. Um, hmm. Oh, no! Oh, they have grenades. Okay. That's not ideal. Here. I got scared. I don't care. Who wants a plasmoid launcher? I don't care! I do! It's right here. I can't see. I'm good now. I'm, I'm fine. This grenade launcher. I love this like talk like oh I got this thing oh, uh, and would you guys like some like I got some items you got the item? meanwhile I'm just panicking over here by myself <laughs> like okay oh okay oh shit I that's the guy launcher. oh that's who does it the scientists have grenades okay oh I'm dead who the fuck got me no could, could you get me up I'm to the south where are you south literally just said so. <laughs> South, 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 you'll find me in the corner, yeah. Ooh, you're lucky I'm here. Oh. I'm good. oh, shit, my damage reset because I downed. Oh, okay. Fucking hell. Oh, I ooh. got jumped by a guy in the Could you, purple gun. Would you like to come back and get healed? Not one of that slashy guy's over there. I guess not. No, I want to fight this guy where I can see. Yeah, that's the guy that got me. He might have gotten me too, actually. I think I did get slashed right before that happened. Also, no, I'm not fighting in that room if I can help it. There's all those stupid little dickwads. Uh, well, somebody has to revive Hayden. Great damage. Well, I can recover it quickly enough. It's 3%. Wait. Oh, it's a wait, boss. Help me with the math. 3% per enemy kill. Caps are 100. How many kills is that? Uh, that's like 34. Okay. Oh, that guy. Yeah, I'm not fighting this room. I fucking hate these purple things. So you guys can have fun. I'm leaving. I guess I can fight like this, though. I'm, I'm scared. Or panic, whatever. You can leave the room. Like I do. I think he's dead. I think he teleported, personally, but he might be dead. Now, the music says that there's still combat going on, but it could just be random jerks just wandering There's a around. south room. They're, they're probably in there. No, he's there. He's there. I was right. I knew what leave I was talking me. about. Leave, leave him to me. Yeah, actually, that's a good, that's a good idea. I'll deal with it. Watch out, grenade! Oh, wait. No, he's an idiot. He threw it at his feet. He's, it's fine. Even the enemies can't throw grenades, right? <laughs> Let's poke around and find more enemies. Yeah, Man. okay, when we're working together, we do a ton of damage. Good work. I'm just, like, leaving, apparently. Hello. Well, we're getting buffs. Rolling reloads your weapon. Intense fear if I'm panicked. Nice! I'm getting plus 50% max HP. I found a weakness to some of the gun guys. If you keep backing up, they keep approaching, and then they so want to aim. Level three. Okay, never mind. You don't want the tip. Never mind. I won't share it. But... <laughs> Do you want to tip with the gun guys or not? <laughs> no, I want an assault rifle three. You, you've been interrupting me a lot today. <laughs> uh, Same. let's. Hmm. I've been trying not to. I found the door for you. Well, not you, Aiden. I just mostly met Nestler. There's several times where I've been trying to spell out a statement and he just keeps talking. <laughs> like, <laughs> I guess I'll pick this up. Anyways, certain gun enemies, they want to they wanna approach you, stop, and shoot you. So if you're constantly backing up, they don't know what's going on. 
and they just keep trying to like inch towards you and aim and they inch towards you and aim. So I fought a group of three gunmen with no no problem because of that. Also, come over here. I was just looking around. You have a key card, right? No, I don't. I do. I was also looking around. That's why I found those guys. <laughs> I just love how we, like, for no reason, just throw the key card away after we open the door. They're only ever usable one door. Like, <laughs> I guess that's the logic. I mean, it's the same key card. Get in the square. Uh, no. I'm gonna do this first. Do not stand back. I have placed a claymore. Oh, by all means, make me, make me fear. I'm, I'm just gonna deal more damage to you. Well, I'm glad you like the effect. What's that? Why is there explosions? That's Wait, my weapon. Okay, good enough. Hey, Everyone shot me. Okay, good enough. Oh, all right. This is how I do damage now. Oh, okay. <laughs> is it? Is it? The enemies will also show you how they do damage. <laughs> Barely. Yeah, those guys were like tougher than normal, I guess, because of the room. Hmm. Because that was just a basic enemy, but like, kills it really fast, doesn't it? Apparently. All right, stream goers and people I'm playing with. Should we keep playing or should we switch games? I'm no, done for that's another enough run. for me. All right, different opinions there. Hayden's really into it. Hayden is enjoying himself. That's good. Our progression was about 50% according to the thing. Oh, look at that. Look at that. You see the no signal there? It's because this is early access. It's not finished. There's six levels. Or maybe five, and then mission complete. So, once you complete those, the game ends. That's because it's not finished. They don't have the other levels yet. Early access. I don't know about this gameplay loop. I think we're good. I think we're good. If, if Essler says he's done, uh, I would say I feel pretty done, too. It's, it's an okay game. I do feel like the friendly fire mechanic... Let me actually double check this, because I think when you make a squad... I'm going to double check this. I'm not starting another game, but... Yeah, if we can turn that off, we should next time. Assuming there is a next time. Uh... Oh! There's another game mode. Experimental Wait, game mode, it? it's Swarm Defense. Battle for Survival and Wave Base... Swarm defense mode, then catch your breath and safe from air through waves. Isn't that just basically how the game works? Just wave based. It's just minus the minus the exploration, I guess. They yeah, just don't explore. Also, I am looking here, and I thought somebody said there was an option to turn it off, and I thought I saw that too. But no, it does not look like it. I think friendly fire is forced. I think somebody asked if there was an option, and you thought you saw it. I thought I did, but no, I don't see it now. I'm looking all the, through it. Yeah, there's nothing. But so friendly fire is that just... was an option on the lobby, though. What's this button here? Uh, no, well maybe there's no lobby though. Uh, that shows I, I... your upgrades. Oh okay. Oh fair enough. Yeah. Yeah, I mean I can re I can open the lobby again. But like on this page, before I go to the main area, it, it does when I when it comes to create a room. It, first off, if I hit create a room, it just makes that it makes me drive the car. So I can make the room private. I can select that other game mode, or I can create a room, and I select the character. That is all I can do. So though there is no way to turn off friendly fire. So you're forced. Now I don't know if the full game will let you turn off friendly fire. Is it? Maybe with, I'm gonna guess with penalties, less data nugs acquired, less this and that you get or something. So you don't, because I would understand that if it like removes some of the stuff you got because you're selecting to, you know, not, Reloading. not not have as many things kill you basically. Yeah, there's yeah, it's just it's just on. Yeah, I don't know about the friendly fire. I feel like the friendly fire, at least for me, was kind of turning into a, uh, ugh, this makes me upset at the other player. Not really, like, I was not really upset upset with you guys, but, like, and vice versa, I assume. But it just felt really easy to, like, 
It feels like one of those systems where it's going to make you hate the people you're playing with if you're not careful, you know? It, it definitely feels like a system that uh, could could lose friends. You could lose friends over. Probably, but I did fall in love with the art canon. I love it. <laughs> You're having a really good time. Esther, what is your opinion? Of the game. Uh, not quite refined enough yet. Yeah, early Need access. To play it more. It's sort of a bad impression. My opinion is not refined. So, my opinion is... Not necessarily is... the game. That's true. That's fair. And with the art cannon, sure, there's friendly fire, but it doesn't directly damage HP right away. True. I mean, I know you... <laughs> so, let, let's, let's... Talking more critically, though, Hayden, how does this compare to, like, other games of the genre, though? Like, the idea is there, but it just needs a bit more polishing. Yeah, I agree. I really hope they can consider the performance, though, because I really had to mess around things just to, well, smooth things out for streaming. To be fair, to be fair, streaming a game is play, rendering it for yourself and also rendering it for the internet at the same time. It is a bit of a heavy load. So I have noticed one thing I will say, a caveat to my problem with Unreal Engine games. Most of them actually run fine if I'm just playing them. It's when I come, it's when I try to also record them that I run into problems. That still demonstrates that there is performance issues, but I guess I can say that most Unreal games, if I'm just considering myself personally, probably can play them fairly smoothly by lowering a few settings. Um, in most cases, though there have been exceptions to that rule. Um, but yeah, it does. It's so it's basically like a lot of Unreal Engine games have met performance. It's not like the most horrendous ever, ever, especially if you're just playing solo and you're not a streamer or a YouTuber or, or somebody who records videos like me. Uh, if you're just playing, a lot of Unreal Engine games can be fine. But still, I do think that is a demonstration of the load of resources being unnecessary because I played plenty of games that are far more optimized. And uh, well, I just I just I applaud that, you know, especially for 3D games, because there's a lot of ways you can choose to either optimize or not optimize a 3D game. This is an early access, so it is possible they could polish up the optimization as time goes. Uh, I just think that it's really important that they, like, it's it's key to expand this this this, this uh, settings me me menu. It is good they have some options, but the simple fact that I had to go into the INI to have more options is bad, and that is an easily fixed thing. You can just simply add new UI elements to actually tick those options I went after in the INI. Uh, so I do implore them like as quickly as possible to update with more options uh, to update with more especially the frame rate that's a big one look if you check there is no option to so it, it's frame rates unlimited by default that is a big no-no without especially without uh being able to change it um because that that's gonna hurt performance for a lot of people so my issues with this game are mostly performance when it comes to the gameplay itself i think to myself that it's fine I feel like the gameplay loop right now is just run in, get some data nugs, get some upgrades, die really early, run in again, repeat process. Obviously, if you get more experienced, you can survive a little longer. But I also think that you are somewhat limited by your uh, upgrades. I do feel like the more stuff you unlock, the more you can actually make headway. And that's a normal enough gameplay loop for some roguelikes, because this is a roguelike effectively. That's a normal enough gameplay loop for some roguelikes, but I personally like the roguelikes where the very first run you take, you theoretically could win. Probably not, but you really aren't, like, barred by the upgrade system. Like, the upgrades are helpful, but you could technically, through skill alone, beat it on your first try. Theoretically. This is a game that doesn't feel like that at all. And I do, I do think that those sort of roguelikes are... Well, effectively, they're more grindy. And that's not really a, necessarily a bad thing, to each their own. I mean, MMOs are fun sometimes because they're grindy. Re but repetition isn't necessarily a bad thing with game design. It's to each their own. It's not my type of roguelike, though, because I am a bit picky with them, I admit. Um, but perhaps that will be more uh, balanced out with polish. This is early access, like I said. So will I come back to this? I don't know. Maybe once it gets into... Maybe once it gets out of early access, I wouldn't mind... Uh, revisiting it at that time to see what they're doing, how's it going. 
if they've improved the things I have problems with and stuff. Like, once it leaves early access, I wouldn't mind knowing to see how they've improved it, if they have, hopefully. But, uh, yeah, that was Blackout Protocol. I Thank you, uh, Hayden and Hessler, for joining me on this one. I appreciate you guys picking up keys for that, uh, just for this. Uh, welcome. Yeah. You're welcome. If you want to run this off stream, just hit me up. I'll play with you. Yeah, I could tell you're really enjoying it. If I, wanna, if I feel like I want to investigate more, I'll let you know uh, and hit you up for more. Uh, but yeah, that was Blackout Protocol. A bit of an extended Halifred hour on this one, but uh, hope that you guys enjoyed and got your own opinion of this. I would personally say I'd still play Alien Swarm over this one. Uh, if I recall correctly, it's that one's either free or very cheap because it's kind of old these days. Uh, also, it's a whole series, if I recall. There's a whole bunch of them. But yeah, that was Blackout Protocol. I hope you guys had a good time. <laughs>